All right, guys. I'm finna get ready to get this thing started. I pinned some basics at the top of the um, the chat. So if you don't know how to act, go up there and read. Um, I'm not interested in no BS tonight. We're just trying to have fun. Ain't nobody trying to play no games. We don't got time for all this dumb stuff. Let's just do what we do best. If you can't handle that, just leave because no one really cares. And no one is trying to be interested in somebody trying to turn themselves into the star of the show or whatever. Because I know people like to try to stand out in a crowd or whatever. But we don't care. Matter of fact, people who do that kind of shit pretty much turn us off. We don't care. But uh, let me get on this Discord thing and make sure it's working, and then we'll get started. And of course, I'll be playing my game, so you know how it is. Sure, all of us are going to be doing something like that. All right, is this thing working? Yes, sir. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you know how Discord is. Oh, yeah. What is my mic picking up? So my mic is picking up something. I don't know, dude. Are you listening to something in your background? No, my uh, son's noise machine is going on in his room. That's what it's picking up, then. Oh, okay. Turn, turn the gain down on it. You probably got the gain set up too high, and it's causing it to pick up everything. Okay. How do I do that? Oh, it's not as easy as mine, I guess. <laughs> Mine just has a dial on it that you turn. Oh, hold on. I think I have one of those. Where is it? Yeah, one of them should say gain on it. And um, you just turn it down. Usually around, I mean, anything below 50% will probably work. Because when you got it up that high, it's just too much. Party people. But yeah, I'm finna um, grab my controller where as soon as I can figure out where I put it down at. What's up, party people? How y'all doing tonight? Oh, we good. What's going on? Can you hear us, William? I got you. Okay. I just want to make sure everybody's connected before I roll over there and get my my game controller. Got you, man. You guys here? Who is that? That is Nidus. Oh, wow, that's that's new. I've never seen you on here before. What's up? What's up? I'm, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. All right. Well, I'm not going to be anywhere near the computer, so... Oh, come on. I hope that junk ain't starting up again. All right, let me check it real quick before I leave. No, it's not doing that, so I wonder what that is. I thought maybe it was something wrong with it, but... According to this, it's working. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, dudes, what's been going on? I decided to go ahead and do this uh, podcast so everybody else could kind of get out their opinions about what's been going on or whatever. Uh, me, personally, I just think it's stupid and I can't wait for it to be over with. <clears throat> well, it's a good way to find out how everybody likes it and... I personally hate. I personally hate it because this uh, it because I just found out I'm a central personnel. I don't see how I'm a central personnel because all I do is fix cell phones for a living. But they're saying I'm a, I'm a central personnel, so I got to be out there through the thick of things, which is okay, I guess, because I'm still making money. But you know, it was kind of a shock for me that when my company said you're a central personnel, you have to be out there. Oh, okay. So well, it's because communications. Lines of communication are always essential. Well, I, I got oh, yeah. a I got a, a paper uh, out there in my truck that says I'm essential, that my job is essential, and it actually is uh, because what I do is mandated by law. But the restaurants don't give a shit; they don't care. They're not listening. They still uh, shut down everything. So even though they're supposed to be letting me go in there and do my job, they're not letting me. Well, would the safety inspect, like the health inspectors and whatnot, would they be able to go in the restaurant with what's going on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the, any any kind of officials like that with 
any official power they can do whatever they want they can ignore they can ignore the rules basically that's you know that's a lot of what's going on right now is public officials they can do whatever they fucking feel like and everybody else is just kind of screwed you know we just uh we went to the grocery store earlier to get provisions so we can be ready for when they do this lockdown on the fourth yeah ours started today actually i started today yeah our mayor but, yeah our mayor said i was up for the tomorrow. fourth I, for tomorrow i actually went to a grocery store um nitus what's that one there across from walmart uh, do you remember Well, it doesn't matter, but basically they've got shields set up. It's not an enclosure. They've just got these shields set up so that the cashiers don't get sneezed or coughed on. Well, And I, ta and I talked to the cashier, and she actually said she hopes these things stay up after all this is over. Well, now they, they just announced today that you can, you can get coronavirus from breathing in somebody else's air, basically. But it's like I said earlier, man. It's common sense. If you have to be all up in somebody's face to talk to them, then either you're deaf or stupid. You don't need to be within arm's uh, reach of somebody. You need to be outside of arm's reach to talk to people. It don't really require that much in intelligence to stay back out of somebody's face. I don't. That's part of the reason why this thing pisses me off so much. It's because I can't go and do my job and earn money because people are just ignorant. They don't know they don't know how to just handle basic decorum like we all were taught this in school how to how to hold a, a conversation without being in somebody's face it ain't yeah. that hard you know but apparently people get dumber as they get older or something i don't know i know i i know i was taught that when i was young the uh, arms arms length like they did it whenever whenever you're in school you're walking down the hall and they um they tell everybody stay uh, arms length away from each other don't crowd your classmates stuff like that so i don't know why these people find it so hard to do that nowadays it's so simple three feet of personal space at all times yeah respect that yeah but it, it i mean a lot of this stuff that's going on with like with this little lockdown and all that to me it's unnecessary i don't really think they have to do it or even need to do it i still think um I still think that it's got it's got more to do with power and control than anything else, you know. I mean, I looked over the the uh, paperwork that the secretary put out for our governor, and basically, we are supposed to stay in our houses, but we can go out and grocery shop. We can go out and get stuff for our pets. We can go out and get gas. We can go out and go to the drive throughs at restaurants. It's like... That's not essential, though. Like, the point. Like, here's something else I think is dumb. They want everybody to stay indoors. So, why tell people they can go to a gas station? Why do you need gas if you're supposed to be staying indoors anyway? I mean, if you think but about did, it, that makes no sense. But I did notice a little amendment that they tr they snuck in there. They said the police, you will get a fine if you violate this. And I, I think it said that the police do not have to pull you over for you to get the fine. As long as they can read your license plate, that's enough. Yep. Yeah, as long as they can get it, as long as they can see your plates. And and use their little cop camera to get a picture of your plates. That's all they need. And it makes you think. It's like, how are they going to tell whether or not you're doing an infraction? If you're going to get groceries and they fine you, it's like you're doing you're doing everything within the parameters of what the secretary put out, and you're getting a fine. I uh, I just think they're going overboard with all this stuff. I honestly think what's going to end up happening is people are going to just get so fed up with it and get so damn tired of it that the government's not going to have a choice they're gonna it's going to be to the point where they're going to have to open stuff up they're going to have to they're going to have to let the people just decide you know 
because pretty much people's pockets can't take this man like i know for a fact you know i know i'm in better situation than most people but still man it still hurts to not be able to make money you know it does and oh no doubt and it's gonna continue to get worse you know and they're they're sitting back saying oh don't worry about it the government got your back everything's gonna be okay but they ain't the ones sitting around for two three months trying to figure out how to pay a bill you know it's easy for rich politicians to tell you everything's gonna be okay i mean it's starting to even impact my job because they're like indefinitely suspending certain ones outright canceling games so if i'm they're not sending alpha tests beta tests whatever our way i'm not getting any work therefore i'm not making a paycheck so yeah i understand so if yeah i'm just i'm fully fed up with it at this point like i was on board with it at first you know just to see what see if we can maybe kind of cool this thing down a little bit you know maybe some people will learn a lesson and and stay home and this but nobody's listening to these orders and orders with no enforcement mechanism behind them are just words and that's what they're yeah. running into you're, you're telling people hey we suggest you do this we suggest you do that and nobody's going to follow a, su a suggestion you got to either make them do it or step the hell off and they're trying to yeah, I mean they're trying to do both they're trying to get people to do it but they're trying to get them to do it without actually enforcing it by by law or with the police, and that's be, that's that's why no one's listening. It's every time I went out today, it was people everywhere. No one's listening. Yeah. Um, I forgot to ask. Are we doing questions at all today? You want to do questions? I'll answer questions as long as it ain't dumb shit, as long as it ain't troll shit, and as long as it ain't people trying to start up old shit. I'll be glad to answer questions. Got no problem with it. Okay, questions are open, guys. But we're just gonna keep going with our stuff. I'll, I'll ask them sporadically. We have a Vegito on the line. Oh, shoot. What's up, man? Yo. What's, what's up, dude? Hello. I was gonna say, you can take my city for the whole face mask, face mask in public. Street. <laughs> yeah, hey, they were acting all weird when I walked in like that. I actually came in the door like that. <laughs> and people started looking at me and I was like fuck it our governor said it for us to do this so I'm doing it yeah cause like all the cashiers had on masks and shit didn't nobody say nothing to them bitches didn't get the cop called on you yeah but you don't work there <laughs> well I, I didn't last time I checked the coronavirus didn't ask who worked where it just hit people so <laughs> fuck it you know but it, I was mostly doing it just to make a point of how idiotic this shit is they want everybody going like they they actually announced today they want everybody who's out in public or whatever to basically walk around like that like a fucking buffoon oh my God. really yeah they want us all to wear masks and shit everywhere we go and all that stuff and i'm just thinking man this is so stupid like what else do they want us to do do a little song and dance or whatever shit's retarded man yeah and that's, that's what i'm saying you can take my city for that because we're the one that started it and you can get fined up to a thousand dollars if they catch you outside without a mask are you serious yeah what? one of the one of the wow was, uh, was uh yeah uh, saying, california yeah Florida. you're in california right you know sir i'm in texas you're in texas oh california is doing some fucked up shit too um california has decided in order to make businesses comply with their voluntary order and it just shows you it's not voluntary but they want you to they want to turn off the the lights and the water of any business that's not complying with their voluntary stay home order so that makes you wonder just how voluntary is it if they're using enforcement like cutting off your lights and water to make you to make you do it because if they cut off the power right. They cut off the power and the water to your house. I mean, to your uh, restaurant. Then you can't you can't conduct business. It's done. So yeah, I think uh, that's why I'm saying the shit is getting more and more and more communistic as as we speak. It is just not 
it don't seem like they're trying to protect people. It seems like they're just trying to control people. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I just that's just the way I feel about it. Uh, you know how our government loves to control people. Of course. I told you guys a while back that a lot of this stuff that they claim they're doing for safety reasons is just a measures of control. It's how it begins. It's how it always begins. Yeah, we'll learn the hard way. That's why I, I, I'm not one of those people who agrees with trading in freedom for secure. I mean, yeah, for security. It never works out the way you think it will. Yeah. It's always a problem, and uh, we're starting to see some of the problems from it now. The economy is just, it's going to be dirt after this. There ain't going to be no damn economy. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you want to ask questions, ask questions that are on topic for now, and then we can go to an open forum question. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Deal. Wait a second. What the hell are they asking? Oh, nothing yet. Um, oh. KW asked um, something about rivals. So, I didn't what the wanna... hell is rivals? Um, he wants to know um, what you what uh, all of us think are the best video game rivals. Oh man, nobody care about that. You guys always do that. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That's, that's why I wanted to save it until like an open, like question type of deal. So, is that about, all? Like... I just need to ask since since we're doing questions. I need to ask. Is that all you niggas know? It's comic, com, comic books, video games, and fucking cartoons. Like, really? Like, cause I just noticed that every time we do a, a, a podcast or a stream, I get the obligatory fucking question about a damn game or a fucking anime. It's every single time. And I just, <laughs> like, at this point, it's been so long since I've even cared about anime. You think at this point my fucking fan base would be like, all right, this nigga don't give a fuck about anime. But no, they just keep doing it. It's like, we're going to get him to do anime. And then, when I do anime, they'll say, no, NBA, don't mess with anime no more. It's too much trouble. Oh, here we go. NBA, got one. Zaidun wants to know, how many months are we staying on lockdown, Do you, does everyone think? I'm staying on until May. Once May gets here, I'm going back to work. Because that's exactly when I'm supposed to go back to work. What everybody else does is up to them. Yeah, but, I mean, our our governor says 30 days, so, I mean, if I need stuff, I'm going out for it, but I'm going to be as careful as hell. I mean, I don't I don't work again until May, so I don't really care about being locked down in April because I don't have to do anything in May, or I mean in April. So, now, if they say we're going to extend this shit to May, then that's when it's going to be a problem. But I doubt they're going to extend it that long. I think the pressure is already on. I think too many people have already lost too much money. And I think because mm -hmm. of that, they're going to open things back up pretty soon. I mean, I know schools are closed indefinitely. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Nidus. Sorry, I was just saying, hopefully they open up. Well, we'll find out pretty soon because, like, the one that they just did today uh, here in my state, um... They said it's set to expire uh, April the 9th, and then they're going to re-examine on April the 9th. And if they feel like they need to do another one April the 9th, they'll do another two weeks. And, I, and that's when I said, you know, instead of just doing it every two weeks, just go ahead and throw a month on there. Uh, make everybody stay indoors. Because here, here's the truth, guys. This virus can't jump from one person to another if, if you keep everybody away from each other. The virus will literally die. If it, if it if there's no one for it to jump to. So keeping folks away from each other could work. The problem is there is nothing to enforce it. So there's nothing to make people do it. And that's why it's not working right now. That's the true Mod reason why it's not working. Majin Styles, where did you hear that from? He's saying Mike Pence is trying to push everything to July. Well, Mike Pence, yeah. Mike Pence can, can try that all he wants. But that don't mean it's going to happen. He's the vice president. You know, what can he truly do? I mean, let's see. Let's be real. Only power he has is what the president gives him. That's why I was asking him where he heard it from. If it was an actual sorcerer. Well, it might have been Mike Pence said, you know, we might need to do that. 
but no one in this country can survive to june without working like you can't have only very small segments of the population working and everybody else sitting at home because you're asking millions of people to go without a fucking paycheck and no nobody's gonna do that i know for a fact i'm not i already made up in my mind you know if you want me to sit around till june and not get paid whatever shit Somebody, um, gonna, somebody's crib gonna get knocked off for some goods. <laughs> uh, it, does, it does the economy no good to send you a twelve hundred dollars stimulus check and nothing open for you to go spend it, dude. It does the economy no good to send you a stimulus check when, for somebody like me, twelve hundred dollars, you might as well be giving me twelve dollars. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. What the fuck? Twelve hundred dollars. Yay. What the fuck I'm gonna do with that? Uh how do you think this will impact the election? I think Biden's gonna win regardless. Because Donald Trump's getting so much heat for this, um, uh, that Biden's gonna probably it's probably gonna be a bigger victory than it would have been. I, I thought Biden was gonna win anyway, because I think people have Trump fatigue. But I think after the way this has went down and the way Trump's being blamed for it. I pretty much think he's done as president. It's sad, but it's the way it is. Um, we're going to have a Democrat wave. Democrats are going to win the White House. They're going to keep the uh, House of Representatives. And they might win the U.S. Senate. Because that's the way things are starting to go right now. If Democrats get all three houses of government, people like me just might as well shut up. Because that it's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. You think YouTube censoring people now? Let the Democrats get control of everything. <laughs> it sounds worse. Oh, it's going to be real bad. You know, liberals, they claim to believe in free speech and all that bullshit, but they don't. They believe that if you agree with them, then you're allowed to have free speech. Like if you think it's OK to be trans and gay and all that stuff, then your free speech is accepted. But if you ain't down with all that stuff, you don't have no free speech. I used to be a Republican. I'm an independent now. After everything, I, I just I got upset with you know Trump. Trump's a double-edged sword. He does some good, but at the same time, he does just as much bad. So I was like, Trump got elected because Obama. That's how many people Obama pissed off. Okay, let's be real. Americans are not stupid. We would have never elected somebody like Trump if it were not out of anger. He was elected out of anger. It wasn't because people thought he was a good president or because he was some intelligent guy. It was out of pure anger for the shit that Obama did to, to the country. Obama fucked shit up. And I know black folks don't like to hear that because every black person thinks that Obama is some kind of black savior. But Obama did a lot of damage to America with all these free giveaways and all this socialism bullshit he was doing. And now we all paying the price for it. And that's just real talk. My biggest problem with Obama was he was an apologist. That was my issue. Well, I don't really care about that shit. I mean, I know a lot of people are saying, you know, other countries don't apologize. So how come Obama's apologizing for shit that America did? And there's only one real answer because... He felt like he was trying to clean up the mess that George Bush left him. That And that's part of the problem that presidents have. When you come into office, you your first term is spent trying to clean up the mess from the previous president. Trump has really, this first, um, this first term, all Trump has been doing is fixing shit that Obama did. The second term is when presidents actually start to accomplish their own stuff. But, like I said, Trump may not get a second one because so many people hold him responsible for all the stuff that's happening right now. All this coronavirus crap, nobody seen, nobody saw it coming like it did. Like, we all knew people were getting sick and all this and that, but nobody expected to, um, nobody expected to see it spread like it did. Like, when it was first announced in Washington State, and it was like four or five people had it. Everybody treated it like, oh, it's just a little novel virus. It ain't no big deal. It's the flu. It'll go away really fast. And we all found out the hard way that you cannot, you can't just, 
you know, throw stuff like that to the side. You got to pay attention to it. That's where Trump fucked up. He was coming on TV saying this is a liberal plot to kick me out of office and all, instead of taking it serious like he was supposed to. And that's where he's that's the reason why he's not going to be president anymore, because when people were sick and dying, he was playing politics and he shouldn't have been. So if you um, like if you like Trump, I mean, hey, it is what it is. He's still going to lose whether you like him or not. I honestly don't know who's going to win. I don't have any views one way or the other, so. I don't care who which one of them wins as long as they don't mess with my pockets. That's my policy when it comes to presidents and presidential candidates. Stay out of my pockets. And which, I just want the country intact. That's what I care about is the country being intact. Well, look, America is stronger than one or two presidents. Everybody thinks, oh, the country's going to be destroyed. Man, I never believe in that stuff. America's going to be just flipping fine. Anybody who think it's won't, it won't is a dumbass. Ain't nothing going to... This, country, this country's going to be here long after we, we're dust in the wind. So I'm not even remotely worried about that. It's like I tell people, all the people who want to save the whales and the trees and all that stupid shit. All that shit is going to be here long after we all dead. I don't even care about that dumb shit. I never did. Even when I was young and I was doing all that fight the power shit, I didn't really care about it. I was doing it because all my friends were doing it. And we was all in a group together. You know, it was that, that herd mentality bullshit. The thing that I speak against on the internet now, it's like I tell people all the time, don't do some shit just because a bunch of your friends are doing it. It's stupid. Yeah, I got caught up in that herd mentality. It's not fun. Yeah, a lot of people do it. A lot of people, you know, hey, my buddies are doing it, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to join. And some, like, you have people who join things like that who don't even know what it's about or what they're joining it for. They just do it because their friends are doing it. Those are the worst kinds of causes is when you got a group of dumbass kids who get together and do some shit just because they see the other ones doing it. I can't. I mean, them kind of causes are the dumbest in the world. I care about the rainforest, but you've never been to the fucking rainforest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Nidus? What are your views? <laughs> Pretty much as I can. Move the mic closer to your mouth. I can't hear nothing he's saying. His, his mic. There we go. His mic slipped. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, you're a little bit better. Yeah. You're better. As long as I get my money, I my I charge. Screw. Uh. Did he come. His shit sound like he doing an electric slide. <laughs> <laughs> are you connected to the internet? Or are you? Disconnect from the internet. It sounds like he's using his phone or something. I'll teach you the electric slide. See, the, the thing is this. We all, all of us need to stop pretending to be politicians. Like, that's the first step, okay? I'm, I'm not just saying that either. All of us need to stop pretending to be politicians. We need to stop pretending that we know what's going on in Washington and all that bullshit. Because the truth is, don't none of us know shit. We know what the news reports. And that's vote, a lot. Yeah, if you vote your interest, and I tell you guys this all the time, vote your interest. Vote what's going to help you and your family. Don't vote the way your friends vote. Don't vote the way somebody that you work with votes. Vote for the person that's going to help you and yours. Because even if that person loses, you can still take pride in the fact that you stuck with what you believe. It's too many people who vote for a certain person because like let's like the Bernie thing, for instance. A lot of people voting for Bernie because it's like the cool thing to do. And I would never understood how a 79 year old senator is a cool thing. But Bernie's the cool thing. All these young people voting for him. And that's because Bernie's talking all that good shit. Like when I was growing up in the hood, whenever you had that smooth talker, nigga talking all that gravy, all that good shit you want to hear. 
he was a very popular person. Well, Bernie's that guy. Bernie telling you all this shit he's going to give you. And that's why all these young people are saying, yay, Bernie. That's also the reason why Bernie's losing. Because even though he's offering all this good shit to young people, young people don't vote. And you're seeing that in the numbers. That's why he's getting his ass kicked. Yeah. Because young people don't vote. They talk a good game. They talk all that, that shit. Oh, we love Bernie. We're going to support Bernie. But when it comes time to go to the voting booth, young people ain't there. And that's because they don't have any patience. They don't want to stand in line for three, four, five hours to back up their beliefs. Older people will stand in line forever to back up who we want to vote for. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, look at what happened with Obama. People were standing in line for 10 hours to vote because that's who they wanted to vote for. But when yeah, old people will... They're, they're crazy man old people will go to great lengths to do what they want whether it's work, waking up at like 4 in the morning for it or just but stand. that's the reason why old people think that young people are weaklings because you got people in their 20s they can't stand in line for an hour before they start complaining but you got old people in their 60s and shit standing in line for 5, 6, 7 hours and then what's the first thing fall out of their mouth Young people are weak. If you can't even stand in line and wait to vote, you ain't you ain't shit. And they're right. Yep. I don't even get mad at older people when they trash young folks. I trash young folks all the time. And the funny thing is, I've been proven right. They're lazy. They don't work. They whine. They cry. They they fucking bitch and moan about shit they can't change. They all join stupid causes just because their friends are doing it. Everything I've ever said about young people has been true. And when when I was growing up, my mom and her generation used to say it about us. The same thing. Genera mm -hmm. Generation X is what we were called. And they called us that for a reason. Because we wasn't shit. I'm going to be real. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. When Generation X, we wasn't shit. We were terrible. But now mm -hmm. Generation X is the ones raising these new batch of losers. Mm -hmm. That's probably why they ain't. That's probably why they ain't shit. Cause they got raised by one of the worst generations ever. <laughs> they're with you, bro. Right there with you. Cause I admit, Generation X was we were fucked up. All we cared about was yeah. partying and going out and doing dumb shit. We didn't care about life. We didn't care about getting a job. I'm sure you've seen yeah. some of them old commercials where you got the man screaming at kids, "Get off my lawn and go get a job" mm -hmm. and all that. That, that shit was created because of us, because of our generation. Cause we simply didn't give a shit. And that's that's the one that's the one reason why I I tried to give this generation a small break. Because I realized that they were raised up by one probably one of the worst generations of all time. Like, um, do you remember that Star Wars Atari game commercial with that crazy guy? Going into the video store. Yeah, I remember that. And just... He was just... I don't even know what to call what he was doing. And then at the end, his hair is all, like, spiked up. He goes, some game! I, I think part of the reason why young people today, are they catch more hell than, when we, than what we caught is because we did a lot of stupid, dumb shit. But we didn't take it to the extreme that this generation does. Like this generation, they do shit that's just beyond crazy. Like like that 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 pod challenge where they eating the Tide Pods. I mean, we knew laundry detergent can kill you. You know these I, these kids. I don't even know why people did that shit. They did it because it was attention seeking. It got them what they wanted. They wanted attention, and they ended up getting attention. They knew exactly why they were doing that shit. Nobody eats Tide Pods just because they taste good. I mean, shit. They did it because they knew if we do this, we're going to get a shit ton of attention. And they were right. They and were 100% right. I mean, I mean, yeah, they, but that's the thing. They die for their attention. That's the thing that makes this new generation way worse than us. They die. Yeah, they end up getting the attention that they want, but they end up dying for it. They do shit that can kill them for their attention. We didn't go that far when we were growing I mean, up. 
we had some stuff like we had the spider-man that climbed the buildings the tight walkers that you know went across that one dude that uh tight rope walked yeah across but, the but, but you got to keep this in mind we had one or two of those they literally have whole generations of them they have whole groups of them doing the same behavior that's why you can't compare it because yeah we had the crazy dude that would tight rope walk across shit we had the crazy dudes that do the the parkour shit before it became popular and that's the other thing this generation thinks the shit they doing is new like like the parkour shit jumping all on the buildings and shit they really yeah. believe that they invented that like <laughs> we were doing that shit in the fucking 80s and 90s but they think that they invented it. It's so fucking hilarious. I was I was listening to some some uh, music the other day, and it was some some rap from the eighties. And uh -huh. I pulled up at a traffic light and I had my windows down. It was like one of those really awesome days where it's just eighty degrees out and shit. Right? These motherfuckers heard my music playing. Is that new? And I immediately just fell out laughing. They're so dumb, this generation. They really, truly are. They are fucking dumb. Music from the 80s, and they think it was brand new. I was just crying laughing. I was like, I can't believe this. Uh, What do you think about businesses breaking quarantine? I think they're doing it because people want to get paid. I also knew it was going to happen. Look, I want you to, I want everybody to ask yourselves this, okay? Ask yourselves this. If you're not sick, and there's a really low chance of you getting sick, like you don't go around a lot of people, you don't, you know, you're maybe you're a, a night person and you don't spend a lot of time in public, whatever your reason, let's say you're one of these people and you have a, a really super low chance of getting sick. Do you want to be stopped from earning money? on the slim chance that you might get sick do, do you think that's fair and then people who have a greater chance of getting sick they're allowed to work people who can definitely get this shit are at work right now somebody like me who the chance of me getting this shit is minuscule at best i'm not allowed to go to work do you, does that seem fair if I could go to work right now, I would. That's where I would be. I absolutely would be at work. Yeah. With no questions asked, I'd be there. All this, all this shit is a scare tactic, man. Like I said on the earlier stream, if it wasn't a scare tactic, how come they never mentioned the people who are getting better? Because it's just like you said, they want to pretty, pretty much. They want to stay in power. Yeah. They want to have the control. And this is getting them into places of control that they've never ha been able to get before. So, yep. And we ain't, we ain't never getting it back, fellas. I'm telling you now. We ain't panic. never getting it back. I think businesses at some point, though, will recover. But it's going to be a long, hard road because we've never had this many unemployed people all at one time. Like, this is a new record high amount of people who are unemployed. That's what they're talking about. I do like the fact that some of these companies, like Apple, for example, they are clo they closed their stores, but they're still paying their employees, whatever their base rate is. So yeah, Coca-Cola's like Coca doing that, too. They were actually interviewing Coca-Cola today. And they were, uh, they asked them, they said, are you still paying everybody even though you're shut down? And they said, yeah, we're still paying people. Because eventually when this is over, the job still has to be done. What'd you say, Ninus? I love that, uh, pretty much where I work, I get extra to work since I'm essential. And a half. Yeah, we get that too, it's sure now, yeah. Well, that's, ha that's hazard pay is what that is. Yeah, yeah. That's basically. Hey, in case you get sick, we're gonna throw you a little bit of extra change. Uh, um, I heard that a guy that works at Amazon, uh, got arrested, one of the managers, cause he uh, let an employee work even though he knew that the guy was sick, and then uh, six more people ended up catching it. 
Wow. Yeah, he. Uh, Amazon's in a lot of trouble, man. They they've been working in really screwed up conditions, and a bunch of people have been complaining. And now people are starting to uh, complain about the fact that um, they're getting sick and all this and that. I mean, that that's that company is in pursuit of one thing: money. That company don't care about nothing else except getting paid. I've got friends, and you've got these dumb people who are actually risking like small businesses' livelihoods because they want to have a day off, so they say, I think I have COVID-19, when they really don't. And the yeah. boss, some bosses don't have enough sense to say, hey, if you have this, why are you going home? You should be going to the hospital. It's a lot of people that are using this shit. Um, I actually talked about it a while back where um, motherfuckers who don't want to work are using it as an excuse to not get a job. I was at Family Dollar today. They got up a big ass sign, now hiring, apply online. And it's because there are so many people going to the dollar stores now buying shit that they need help. Like yeah. they, they need help. And it's sad that broke ass motherfuckers that never had any intention on working anyway are now using this shit as an excuse to not get a job. But even before this COVID-19 shit, they never worked anyway. Sure. You know, it's pretty damn sad. It's like, you really that much for a piece of trash? It's, it's sad. And if they say the wrong thing around the wrong person, it gets out and that business could be forced to close down. And if they're in dire financial straits, they're gone. Well, I think a lot of companies are going to restructure after this. Um, I'll be honest with you. If I was GameStop, I would go to an all-online model. I wouldn't have any more brick-and-mortar stores. I would just go to wow. I would go to all-online. You order your game online, we ship it to you. I would not even do any stores anymore because they're spending all that money paying rent on all these offices, and nobody's going to them anymore. I would just simply say, fuck it, let's do all online orders and be done with it. Because I can only and imagine how closing. much that company's about to lose. They're yeah. still closing permanently 300 stores. Yeah, they got no choice because nobody shops there anymore. I mean, everybody I ask, I say, hey, when the last time you've been to a GameStop? The answer is typically the same. Man, I don't go to GameStop no more. Like, now GameStop is like, it gets treated like old people now. You old, you shop at GameStop. That's how they treat it now. <laughs> I mean, so, you know. Online is all right, though. I mean, I'm just going to do it's like I've right. been doing. I'm just going to fucking... Hype. I'm just going to keep downloading my games. When a new game come out, I'm just going to buy it, download it, be done with it. I ain't going to waste no energy going to fucking GameStop. It's useless. Hey, but I do appreciate the fact that a lot of companies are doing other free stuff. Like WB is giving free network subscriptions. The ABA and NFL have been giving free network subscriptions. Uh, so you can watch some of the older games of yesteryear. So I do appreciate that. Yeah, I found out that fucking Comcast is doing free shit too. Because my kids were in there watching the Broly fucking movie for free. Serious XM yeah. free until May 15th. Because they're watching it on a channel that we don't have. So I know that they uh, must be, yeah, like usually on Comcast, in order to watch free movies, you have to actually have that channel. But they, we don't have the channel that they were watching the shit on, but Comcast is like letting people watch stuff they wouldn't normally let people watch because of all this crap. Yeah, they're, they're giving a few extra channels out. I think one of them's like Lifetime, one of them's what, Sirius? Nah, we got, Lifetime comes with my package. We got, um, we got 300 channels. And Lifetime is one of them, but that's a woman's channel. Who the fuck watches that? I got an okay. email, so only thing I that kills me, the only thing that kills me about cable ain't shit to watch on it. Yeah, you can yeah, have all, all these the channels and nothing on. Exactly, that's the downside of it. I used to have like four hundred channels, and I got rid of a hundred of them because it wasn't shit on them. Shit to watch, no? Nothing. But we got net, we got the Netflix thing, we got Amazon Prime Video, mm -hmm. then we yeah, got I Disney got Plus, we got all that shit. So we never yeah, gonna run out of shit lie. to look at. We're gonna always have shit to look at. I sometimes I'm starting. To I think, went through. 
No, go ahead, William. Go ahead. Didn't mean to cut you off, Stacks. I was watching uh, Disney Plus last night, and I had never seen the Future Avengers before, so I just binged it, and it was pretty decent. So Disney Plus, they got some good stuff on there. Yeah, I've been watching the, the old uh, Marvel cartoons, the ones I grew up with in the '90s, like a mate, like Spider Man and uh, X Men. Oh. I've been I've been catching yep. up on them. You know, it's been years since oh, I yeah. sat down and just binge watched that shit. Then the other day, I um I was on Amazon Prime. And I, uh, I've i been watching Stargate over again from the beginning. I, <laughs> I remember Stargate. Stargate was my shit, man. I've been watching yeah, that. that good, man. And I've been watching um, Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh. And Babylon 5. That's my Ooh. shit, too. Like, okay, here's the email. It says, uh, for new content, just say free into your Xfinity voice remote and find everything from Lifetime Movie Club, Acorn TV, Stars, and much more. Yeah, I got all of those. Those are all included in my package. I don't watch even half of them channels, dude. Especially fucking <laughs> Lifetime. Lifetime is a that's a that's that weird women's channel. Nobody watching that stuff. Away from that, boy. Yeah, my woman don't even watch Lifetime. <laughs> she knows it's lame, dude. She <laughs> watches that fucking live PD shit. Yeah. Um, um, she watch with them shows where you know where they buy those houses and. Fix them up and then resell them. Flip this house, yeah. or flip this flip, it. Flip yeah, and the yeah. only reason I don't like them flipping shows because it seems like everybody who buying the house is all faggots. It's like, damn, <laughs> do every single group of these people who buy these houses got to be gay? It's always oh, a couple of gay guys going around buying houses and shit. Like straight <laughs> people, straight people don't have any money. Uh, but. <sighs> That will be frustrating to watch. Very frustrating. But hey, at least with those PD shows, at least you can watch a bunch of Law and Order. Yeah, I used to watch Law and Order religiously, believe it or not. I used yeah. to be my shit. Yeah, me too. Me yeah. too. They talking about your boy coming back. What's um, his? Uh, Stable coming back. Do, yeah, yeah he start, coming back. he's getting a brand new show. It's going to be connected to Law and Order, but it's not going to be Law and Order. But the same people yeah. who made Law and Order are the ones who are making it, so it's going to be a, like a. Is they going to be doing like some crossover stuff with Law and Order? Fun a mm -hmm. I like the old Law and Order. Everybody the likes one, the, the, everybody the likes the old or, one. Oh yeah, the old school. Yeah. Yeah, the old school Law and Order. Let, like yeah. uh, with uh, what is it? Was it Sam, Sam Watterson? Yeah, yeah, thank Sam you, Sam yeah. Watterson and that original crew. Yeah, uh, yeah. because yeah, uh, D. A. Jack McCoy. Yeah. yeah, that motherfucker hey. was handing out time, hey. man. Every deal he made, yeah, he somebody was. was getting minimum twenty five. Yep. And then you you had the the old guy police detective Jerry yeah, Orbit. Like, yeah, I can't remember the names because it's been so long. Yeah, since he watched was it. he was the dad in Dirty Dancing. Was yep, you right about that? You right about that? No, well, you know I know my movies and shit, especially old <laughs> oh, shit. You right about that now? You right about that now? <laughs> yeah, he was the uh, he was the one where old Patrick Swayze said, you know, nobody puts baby in a corner. Yeah, <laughs> I'd have been like, get the fuck out of here! This is my child. <laughs> Shut up! Or I put you in the damn corner. No, it's funny. Patrick Swayze dead hey, first. <laughs> That's fucked up. Both of dudes put, dead. Put you in the corner head first. Man, look, that <laughs> shit, that movie was crazy. That movie, all that movie was, was just trying to fucking get people horny back during the time where you couldn't really show pornos. That's all that movie was. Dirty Dancing, it was just trying to, it's basically a chance for guys to see up a chick's skirt. That's all it was. I like that girl, though. That girl ain't, that, that girl wasn't about nothing, man. Let me roll over here and look at my chat real quick. See what the fuck they talking about. She was like, she was like, she was built like she was like the number one, just straight down the middle, number one, no curve, no nut. She was just like the number one. I was like, Man, that's because back in the eighties, white women were flat like Jane Fonda. <laughs> yeah, they now, should be lacking yep, yep, questions. Yep. This, this week. <laughs> Nowadays, white women are thick now, but back then, yeah. they were skinny as hell. Yep. Everyone was a was a supermodel back then in movies. See, back then, having a big ass and big titties, women just thought you—they just thought you were fat. 
Like you couldn't have a skinny, you couldn't have a skinny waist and a and big booty and all that, and and it's just considered a good looking chick. No, back then, white women thought having a big tits and a big ass mean you were just overweight. That's why they all look like fucking skinny bean poles back in the 80s. You gotta have to, you had to be as close to the Barbie look as possible to actually yeah. be. But see here, a funny thing happened though. A funny thing happened. White women started becoming heavily attractive to black dudes. and But black dudes didn't want to be, be banging no fucking, basically hitting the hip bone. You wanted some cushioning. And then that's when white, that's when white chicks in the 90s, you start noticing them with booties and thick lips yeah. and all the shit that black girls had and that's part of the reason why black girls are not um are not get, getting as many dates as they used to and i'm coming because now Preach. you you can get everything all the thickness of a black chick but with a white girl and that way you don't have to put up with none of the ghetto ratchet shit uh, as a nerdy ass white man i have no say in the matter because i am not black Amen, bro. Amen, bro. Man, don't Amen, don't give man. me that fucking. Amen. Don't give me that fucking cop out. <laughs> what the fuck is a cop out? I am a nerdy ass white dude. Man. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right me? now. I'm gonna tell you right now. What the fuck do you want me to do about it? I'm gonna tell you right now. One thing <laughs> that bugs the shit out of me is when white folks are scared to be honest about Negroes. Look, man. Listen, ain't nobody on this line gonna be mad at you for telling the truth. We all know. Well, we all know, know Nick. We all thing. know niggas is niggas, and there ain't nothing you can do to change that. Sitting on here hey. saying I'm just a white boy ain't gonna change the fact that niggas is niggas. I was being funny, and you already know I won't say the N word because it's a personal preference. Well, you know what? I'll say it for you. Shut up, nigga. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shit. Wait, well, I would yeah. say make me, but you actually have the ability to make me. Of so. course I do. <laughs> But I'm I'm too far from my computer to give a shit right now, so. Okay, yeah, so make me. Nah, I'm good. Well, y'all know. <laughs> well, y'all know. Well, y'all know my y'all know my preference as of late. I, I love them Asian, so. Yeah. That's just my preference as of late. Yeah, my preference is ones that fucking work and help me pay bills. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're my preference. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Like and, and, the days of caring about arm candy is over. I don't. I mean. I don't, uh, I, I don't care at all about arm candy and those guys who with those really good looking chicks, you know, they, they think they all that because they got a little piece of arm candy. How much is it costing you being with that broad? How much you got to spend yeah. every day just to, just to have her yeah. be seen in public with you. That, 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 that's why, that's why I went the way I went because the past, the past few that I've been, that I, that I've been meeting, you know, they work in, they're doing something positive that they they'll help you meet your goal and not give you half the stress that most of these chicks do. So I'm I, look, I, I I'm just honest, and the honest <laughs> truth is, I learned a long time ago as a black man that you have to get away from black women if you want to have any kind of life. And 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 I know there are some because I already know. No, oh, that's their favorite argument, the not mm -hmm. all argument. But listen. Saying not all really don't, it really don't work when you're talking about black women because there are so many of them that will wreck a man's life. Like the white man gets accused all the time of, of doing stuff to black men. No one ever calls out black women for the amount of shit they do to black men. Do you know how many black dudes are in jail right now because mm -hmm. black women love calling the police on niggas? Like let's like yep. like you can look up the statistics right now. It's more black dudes in jail for fake domestic violence charges from black women than almost anything else. You know how many yeah. black women don't let dudes see their children? I mean, it, it's a man. I'm telling you, and <laughs> everybody knows this. They are the worst people on earth. They all have that funky ass ghetto ratchet attitude. They all want to be the man in the family, and they want to be the woman. They want to wear the pants. They want to wear the dress. They want to control the money. They want to control the kids. They want to control the household. If you a real man, you can't be with a woman like that. They don't want to let you be a man. They don't want to get the fuck out of the way and let you do your job. Ain't no real man going to be bothered with that shit. That's why I can't deal with them. 
because you're not gonna stop me from doing what I gotta do. You know, and I'm, and, I'm cliche as I'm cliche as fuck. So I'm I, I am I'm I say I like a girl for who she is, not for what she looks like. So call well, me what you want, but that's how I feel. Well, you okay? You said call call you what I want. All right, then yep. douchebag. Because <laughs> nobody cares about that bullshit anymore. That that content of your character shit. Let's be real, dude. Well, you can get I do, you can so. get you can get a chick who's a you can get a chick who's a six or a seven, and they fucking help you pay bills and take care of business. Or you can get one that's an eight, nine, or a ten who looks really fucking good, but they broke as hell and they spending your money every day. Or you can get one that's a one through five that ain't shit neither, and she's really ugly on top of it. The choice is yours. You got all kinds of different variations of women out there. And but see, guys, I choose the guys are not that character. lucky though. Guys are not that lucky, and the reason we're not that lucky is because a woman can get a dick anywhere. See, women have millions of choices. Men, we don't. Our social status, the way we look, um, the way we dress, all kinds of stuff decides on whether or not we get a female or not. Like I told y'all, the six 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 program. Six foot tall, six pack abs, and a six figure income. That'll get you any chick in America. But if you ain't got those those things, you stuck basically with bargain basement hoes. That's real talk. You got to make some scratch in order to get the good ones. Cause they not the women are. I don't care what the what a woman say. Most of them are very fickle, and they ain't gonna talk to no broke nigga. You ask any chick, they ain't gonna talk to no dude living with his mama. They ain't gonna talk to no dude that's broke. Dude that don't have a car. Like, even women who not materialistic will tell you, you at least got to have a car, a job. Like, they don't want no dude with nothing. Well, if I got to find, if I got to, you know, make beyond my means, like, I have a car, I have a job, I got my house, you know, I got my boy. You got it, you got it, well, you got to have that. You got to have that. Yeah. As long as I have that, if she's happy with that, and she's got but see, here's good another, content here, of character, I'm happy. Here's an advantage that women have that men don't have. Women can have kids, and they can still get a man. But when you're, yes, a man, when you're a man with kids, and you're single, it's hard as fuck to find a girlfriend. Because women don't like to come in and put up with other people's kids if they don't have to. Men will do it because we mm-hmm. like pussy. So we'll put up with somebody else's kids so we can fuck. But women, they real picky about it. Like, it's got to be certain kinds of kids, certain type of kids. And then to top it off, they have to really care about your ass. They don't care about you. They're not going to put up with your children. I'm going to tell you straight up. And I know that for a fact. Because I'm a piece of fucking crap. I'm like one of the hardest people in the world to deal with. And my woman puts up with me and I got two of them. She put up with me and I don't know how sometimes. Because I don't even know how I put up with myself. Patience of a saint. Well, that's that. why you find. That's why you. That, <laughs> that's that's why you find. That's why you find smash partners, and that's what I got. I got two smash partners. You guys, see, like, here we go with these damn words, smash. Smash partners. I got smash partners. Look, I'm gonna tell you though, man. When you reach a certain age, that shit gets old. I ain't gonna lie. No, and the only reason why I went that way because I was married for 14 years. Well, the only reason well, why you, I went that way. you just what you're doing in is partying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you. You're partying. Yeah. You was on lockdown for exactly. a long time. But I, I'm going to tell mm-hmm. you, I used to go, I used to think that same shit. I'm going to be by myself forever. Man, I'm going to tell you something. You, I don't give a fuck how hardcore you are, how tough you are. You get tired of living in a house by yourself. Like, for real. I did that shit for years. I lived by myself. Everything. And it gets old and you get tired of being by yourself. It, I mean, a lot of people think that they want to get old and die alone. But we're human beings, okay? And human beings, we naturally gravitate to other humans. We That's why this lockdown is so hard on all of us. Because we're social creatures. We like going around people. Like, I'll go to the mall, and as much as I fucking hate the mall, I go to the mall just to walk around, just to be around other people. I'm not going to really buy anything. I could go on Amazon if I truly wanted to buy something. People don't go to the mall to buy stuff. They go to socialize. And and that's that's the thing. It's like after you reach a certain age, you don't want to be by your motherfucking self. I I really used to think I wanted to be by myself, but I don't. I love my family. Shit, fuck all that loneliness bullshit. That shit is old and stupid. 
And I think anybody who willingly wants to sign up to be by themselves is just a dumbass. Fuck all that. Hell, you want somebody there to carry a casket when your ass die? Better quit tripping. <laughs> William said that he has his match party. Somebody in chat's asking who's his main. Man, I got two of them, man. Where, William, two. William got a Guma. <laughs> <laughs> I got me two fine. Got, man, I got me two fine Asian ones, man, and that's where I'm keeping it, man. Damn. Yeah. Keeping it cool. Asian and this time, wow, bro. Congrats. That's why I'm keeping it, cuz. Yeah, he got him. Oh, he got yeah. him a goo mob. <laughs> yeah. That's what the mob dudes call it. Call they ex, they little one on the side. They goo mob. He done went grab him up a couple of those. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something oh, yeah. though. Men are stupid. You, the reason why men get busted doing all that is because women are they perfected the fine art of cheating. Like they don't like to admit it, but women are at, are master cheaters. They, they invented cheating. Men get caught because we're not as smart about cheating as women are. That's how come every time somebody usually get busted, it's a man. Women have perfected that shit. They, they can do any and everything. Like, I've honestly, I've honestly banged a chick while she was on the line with her boyfriend. I'm not kidding you. Literally talking to him on the phone while I'm hitting it. So, Damn. Shit, I mean, it's just the way it is. They are masters of it. Guys, shit, we'll get a shit away. You on the phone and all of a sudden, uh, uh, you can't hold it no more. <laughs> what you doing? Who is that? You know, you fucked. You in trouble. Shit, it's just real My talk. My son's mother was terrible at cheating. She, she could not hide it at all. So That shit is too much work. And see, men, we also, we don't have the patience for cheating. Because see, we're not detail oriented. That's another reason why women are good at it. Because they actually are detail oriented. Women actually can handle juggling a bunch of things, multiple things. They can multitask. Men, we get distracted and we can't multitask. And that's the reason why we typically get caught trying to juggle more than one female. It's the truth. You know, I mean, it really is. That is the sad thing. A lot of people don't value. You know, what's I'm having a total brain fart. Um, monogamy anymore. Well, just, pe I, I tell you what, it ain't that they don't value monogamy. People just don't want to be married anymore. Like people don't mind being a, a boyfriend and girlfriend, but I think the days of people getting married are over. I just don't think it, people care about it the way they used to. Well, Not that's goal, fine, isn't it? It's not a goal anymore, in other words. Exactly. Like, in the in the 50s and 60s and 70s, getting married was the goal. Like, a lot of women got married because their parents expected them to get married. You know, they expected and, them to have a husband and kids and shit. But, and that, that kind of stupid thinking has fucked a lot of people's lives up. That you need to be married with kids at a certain age crap. Now, people don't fucking think that way, so... You you don't have the the same the same kind of society like we used to have back in them days. I and think I mean it, that that's all well and good to not want to get married, but still, if you're going to be in a relationship with one person and you're making it clear you want that one person, well, if people, you feel you don't need to be with that one person anymore, then break up. Why cheat? It's so stupid. Because you just because it's a very simple thing. It's called having your cake and eating it too. Well, it's Everybody know that. It's pathetic. It's called having your cake and eating it too. Men and women do it. It's just a fact. You don't have to like it, but it's a fact. Oh, I know it's a fact. It's still pathetic. Yeah, it's like, you know, I mean, you, you can stay with the one you with, the one that's helping you and doing this and this, and then you got the, the piece on the side that ain't don't matter to you. Men and women, are, they are alike do that shit you know maybe you run across somebody that wants to give it up and you don't want to ruin what you got going so you fucking try to get away with shit i don't fucking know why people do that shit i have no idea why people cheat it's just part of our human dna i guess and look to me as long as you going in there like my situation right now look I don't want no relationship. 
this is going to be friends with benefits type of deal. You know, you want to do something, you call. I want to do something, you you know, I call you, and we go about that. Well, that That's, makes sense. Like, the, you know, the fact that you're saying up, up front that you don't want to be with somebody, then everybody know where they stand. That makes perfect exactly. sense. That's yeah, fine. That's what I do. That's what I do. I have but, no problem with that. If you're up front you with see, it, then... the, the thing that you're leaving out, though, the thing that you're leaving out, uh, St. Cloud, that you don't understand, and maybe you do, I don't know, but there's this thing called falling in love with the pussy. Like, it's been around for ages where you hit, you're just fucking, and sex typically leads to more than what you expect. Uh, like, yeah, even, I, I understand yeah, that. that. And that happens, like, sometimes you could just be wanting to fuck and that's it and it ends up turning into a relationship because the pussy's so good you don't want nobody else to have it so you say all right fuck this shit i don't want nobody else fucking you so let's let's make it official that happens believe me happens a lot so it just depends on people's circumstances now I if, i'm if, just i'm if, just old-fashioned when it comes to things like that i know yeah well it's not wrong with being old-fashioned but you need to you need to learn how to be old fashioned, but also live within the times. Like yeah, a lot of us are old fashioned, dude. I'm old fashioned. I was raised by an old fashioned person, but I also have enough sense to know it's 2020, and mom's old fashioned teachings just don't work like they used to. I know it's not the same. No, do not step on the keyboard. I wish it was. I wish it was was like it used to be, but it's not. Look, Reverend Ruckus. Look, Reverend Ruckus. That's not gonna happen over here. Cause I'm Who the grown, hell? I'm dealing with grown people. What is Reverend he doing, Ruckus. man? I can't even. Let me go roll over here. What the fuck is this dude, dude. talking about? No, but the problem is feelings happen. Not over here, cuz. Oh wait, I'm what's dealing, what? I'm dealing with grown people. I missed man. that. I was um, playing with. Well, the guy, he's, feelings. He's saying the problem is feelings happen. Well, yeah. feelings feelings don't happen if both people if both people just say let's screw and that's it. And that's like, cause you have women out there who just want sex. It ain't just all men. There are a you lot of sex friends and yeah, there are a lot of women that's... who just want dick. They don't want to be your girlfriend. Like I, I, I mean, I've I've seen women that you fucking and everything's good, and then as soon as you say, hey, let's make it official, they say, nope, I'm out, cause that's not what they want. Like th there's a misconception yeah. out there that men are the only ones on the hunt for sex. No, there are a lot of women out there. Who are who are on the hunt for it and they don't care you know like they're not ashamed of it because some women try to stay on the down low they out there hunting for dick but they don't want people to know they doing it because they don't want to look like a slut you know but there's some women they don't give a fuck there's some people that take their clothes off and fuck on the sidewalk right in front of you they don't care Amen. Amen. you know so it just depends on the type yeah. of person because like when i lived in miami I'm shit the women down there They'll take it all off in front of you right there on the spot. They don't give a fuck. But like where I'm at now mm -hmm. in Tennessee is more conservative. Like like racism and conservatism and this shit up here is weird. Because you got a lot of white women up here. They swear up and down they don't like black dudes. And then you find pictures of them getting banged by niggas. I'm telling you, that's how it is here. You know, you I, I, I mean, honestly, you got racist ass white women. I can't stand them niggers. The next thing you know, they slobbing on some BBC. Yeah, I mean, to answer your your comment about, you know, being able to be with the fact that it's 2020, my views are my views. Just like your views are your views. You know how you always say? My views are everybody's views. Well, first, my views first are my first, views. My views are everybody's views, and I'll tell you why. Because I say the shit everybody secretly is saying to themselves right now. Well, my views are my views, and everyone else who wants to do their thing can do their thing, but I'm going to Listen to Mr. I... Assertive here. <laughs> I'm going to assert myself. NBA be damned. Damn right. Yo, your views are my views, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I absolutely 100% respect the fact that you have your views. Just like you have to respect the fact that I tell you to go fuck yourself. See, it works. <laughs> it works hand in hand. Yes, it does. Re respect all around. Yay, go team. 
Dude, you know I don't care. I ain't gonna try to change. Oh, it, I know. But, 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 but the thing, but the thing that kills me is the fact that, and he did bring up a good question: if villains do, do become involved, that's that's the thing that you do have to be careful of because some of these chicks, man, and mostly black chicks from what I've seen, but it be any chick, they take it a level too far, too far because they don't want nobody to be with you either. Well. If it reaches the point, like, let's say you screwing. Okay, let's say, look, y'all both agree it's just sex. And then the feelings thing start up, that's when you're supposed to say, look, you're I'm you're out. Not. This is not what I wanted. You knew that from day one. Goodbye. But if you keep on hitting it and you ignoring the fact that feelings done started up, then that means you're the problem at that point. Because you, you see what's oh, yeah. going on and you're ignoring it. That means that you're the problem. And then then you got to deal with the consequences of it. But if you just right. want a, a sex relationship and it starts to become more than that, you have to let it go. You have to stop. Yeah. And don't ever, 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 ever say the L word. Don't ever say it. Don't say don't that do shit, it. especially if it's just sex. Don't do it. If you say, do if you say I love you and y'all supposed to just be screwing, you done fucked yeah. up. Oh, you done yeah, fucked up. you're going to lose that shit in a heartbeat. Now nah, what you going you gonna to create... <laughs> You're going to create a crazy chick is what you're going to create. You're going to have a crazy yep. broad trying yep. to fucking murder your ass if she see you with somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> you done seen that uh that Martin Lawrence movie, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate? That one, yeah. Yeah, when he fucked around and told that crazy chick he loved her and then she start trying to kill his ass. Like every time <laughs> he looked up, she was trying to murder his ass. Oh my goodness! Brick, brick to the front window like on Friday. Look, that's why I'm. That's why I'm glad to be off the market. I'm old, and I don't have time for all these fucking young ass girl games and buying <laughs> some broad a bunch of shit and not like I seen this dude one day, old ass motherfucker, and he jumped out of ride, had this young ass girl with him, and you knew instantly he paying like crazy to be with her. He, I mean, he's shelling out dope. Nice car, money in his pocket, and you got this young ass broad with you. You are fucking paying to be with her. Who the fuck wants to be like that? Where you literally paying a chick to spend time with you all? That's prostitution. You might as well just go get you a hooker. You know, or for, or, or or find yeah. you a a secretary and put her on the payroll and just tell her to follow you around all day. I mean, that's basically it. Because you know, you old ass dude. You ain't fucking this broad. She just fucking with you because you got money. Ain't no point, man. It's stupid. And I don't want to be that guy. Old as dirt. You know, finally 75 drive, driving a Corvette or some shit like Like, I don't understand them dudes. Like Flanders? They old as hell. <laughs> they, like, they old as fuck. And they get these sports cars. I To this day, I don't understand that. I don't get it. I see it every damn day, too. These old-ass motherfuckers driving these nice-ass cars. It's like, so you waited all these years till you too old to enjoy it to buy your your dream car. No. Your ass been buying, your ass been buying a Pinto session wagon with wood on the side for 20 years. Now you decide to get a damn nice-ass yeah. car. I, say, I really I, don't understand that, why people wait that long. I mean, if it's one thing if you couldn't afford it until then but if you had the chance to afford it i would get that shit as soon as possible and like enjoy you that can't enjoy it when you it got white hair and you're old like you can't enjoy it i don't know i just don't want to be like that i don't want to i don't want to get my dream car when i'm walking around on a cane you know to me it just it, i think it takes away from the fun of having your dream vehicle you know, especially yeah. if it's like a high performance, really fast kind of vehicle. Why the hell would you want that? Why would you want a vehicle like that when you're too old to have fun in it? I'm just going to be that old nigga that's just going to drive my truck. I ain't even going to worry about all that other shit. Yeah, keep what you got, man. Yep, I'm hey, just going to drive my truck. Fuck it. Get that loop. Shit. Get off the... No. Damn, rabbits walking on the damn keyboard. You got a rabbit walking on your keyboard? Yeah, my girlfriend is the best girlfriend in the world. She actually got me 
a rabbit to replace uh, my rabbit I lost yesterday. Oh. Um, oh, that's what y'all. That... That's what y'all was in the Discord talking about. I ain't know what the fuck y'all was talking about. Like yeah, I mean, my... like honestly, I go through there and I kind of skim through shit, but I don't really be reading that stuff. I'm just gonna keep it real. I don't begin a fuck. <laughs> yeah, my rabbit I had for about three years passed away yesterday. So you know, rabbits typically only live about that long anyway. So eight years. Oh well, maybe this one just had better things to do. Yeah. I mean, fuck, I don't know. I don't I don't fuck with pets. Cause I got too many allergies. I can't have pets. I don't want them motherfuckers around me. I'm not you trying to getting, Cause you still getting shots. Yeah, I get I get allergy shots, so I can't I can't have none of that shit around me. Yeah. Cause like pet dander, you even if you can't see it, that shit still can affect you. That's what makes it so nice. She's totally allergic to pets and she got me this, so she actually walked into the pet store. Yeah, you wouldn't have never got nothing if it was left up to me. <laughs> well, that's because you're an asshole, so. Well, nothing wrong with being an asshole. It served me well all these years. Not against the law. Look, I'm going to tell you, look, man. For the whole time that I've been on YouTube, I've been fighting uh, against this concept of being nice and kissing ass and all that. And the reason that I've been fighting against that concept is because look at what happens to all the people who go who, who play that role. The, I don't I, want you anywhere near I my feel ass. You. I the, feel your the ass. ones who go down that road of I love my fans and I care about you guys. Mm -hmm. Look at what happens to all those people. At in mm -hmm. the end, they get fucked over every time. That's why I decided when I hit YouTube, when I came on this motherfucker, I decided from day one I would never go down the path of playing that game. Where I try to convince you guys that I'm I love all of y'all and we're the best of friends and uh uh uh, cause I, I I've seen too many people get fucked over like that. <laughs> I can see anybody not being a black brother love. I love you. I don't know how anybody can keep a fan base anymore on YouTube. <sighs> like after watching what happened to I Dubs, I don't know how anybody on here can actually expect to keep a fan base. Like his fan base. They turned on him for something he didn't even do. I mean, his his old lady did it. He didn't do what it. Did what but did he but he's still having to pay the price for it, even though his girlfriend is the one that's actually responsible. That's I think they just don't like him because he's encouraging it. He's not it's encouraging it. He just simply don't care that she's doing it. There's a difference. I I don't think he's encouraging her to do it. I think he just I think, I think he just don't give a shit. Because she's a grown ass woman and she can do whatever she wants. And I, I, I totally 100% agree with that. I think that's the right way to go. You don't. Plus he ain't yeah. married to the bra. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't fucking tell a grown ass person what the fuck to do. Even if you're in a relationship with them. You just simply don't do it. And I think he's taking that approach. He's saying, all right, look. You know, she doing her thing fine with me i'm not gonna say nothing i'm gonna let her do it blah 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 and it's like i said man i'd understand 100 percent if she was running around fucking dudes all she doing is posting pictures of herself and dudes, I was at that. yeah and do dude, and dudes are fucking whacking off to her how is that his fault how is he my, get, yeah how is he getting attacked over he didn't do nothing my views on it is you shouldn't tell the other person what to do in a relationship if you don't like it leave the relationship well not everybody has that option but and some and some people cases, I, it don't matter but i think you, he you're, genuinely you're talking to someone who knows that all too well but i think he genuinely likes the girl and don't want to break up with her what's wrong with that nothing if he if he's fine with it then that's his choice i mean I'm that's just, i just think that the way people are turning on him because he won't break up with her and because he won't dog her out it's just fucking ridiculous at this point i don't know how anybody like i really don't understand how anybody can really keep a fan base on this website anymore i don't i don't know how it's possible because the motherfuckers will turn on you like if you drink pepsi and then one day they see you drinking a coke they'll turn on you I just think the, moral, the morality police doesn't have to put their hands in everything that's out there. 
And this is one of the cases where the morality police shouldn't be there. He yep. don't have a problem. He don't have a problem with it. And she a grown ass woman. So she can do what the hell she wants to do. He can accept it or not. And he seems to accept it. So let's leave the man alone about it. And yeah. let him go about his business. Homeboy said he cool with it. He cool. Yeah, the minute he said that he had nothing wrong, no problem with it, I was good with it. You know, but I, I mean, my point ain't even about her. My point is, this is just the fickleness of YouTube subscribers and fans. Like, I mean, are you really that fucking, that really fucked up by him supporting his woman or whatever that it will cause you to turn on a dude the way they did? I mean... He he losing subscribers. People are making all these videos on him, and still no one has actually told me what the hell he did, except say I I fucking support my woman and what she's doing. That's all he said. From my perspective, I it looks to me like people are incensed because they feel that he's allowing. It's kind of like how my view is. I, I don't. I wouldn't want my girlfriend to do that. So I wouldn't be in a relationship with someone who did that. It's just not. Well, maybe I don't. I don't want my girlfriend to be seen naked by other people. Well, maybe he's a kinky ass dude, and he got a kinky ass personality, and, he and that's fine. And he don't that's mind. He, and he don't mind other him. people seeing his woman naked because he don't give a shit. I mean, there could be a multitude of reasons why this dude don't care. And that's fine, but what I'm saying is the people that follow him, it seems the mass majority feel that that is the view. He should not feel that way, and they're putting their view down pretty hard. Well, they're a bunch of stupid so. douchebags. <laughs> yep. I'm just going to call it what it is. They just some dumbasses. I don't give a fuck what another grown person do. That's real talk. I don't care. You do what the fuck you want to do. I don't give a shit. Long as it don't directly affect my life, it don't get in the way of what I gotta do. Man, have a blast. Enjoy yourself. You only live once. That's the way that I see it. That is too true. I just think a bu I think they just a bunch of jealous bitch niggas, and I, that's my opinion. I think they see this dude with all this money and success, and he got a girlfriend that's hot enough to make people pay for her photos and they mad about it. I, did, I truly think it boils down to something as simple as jealousy. And the reason, yep. it's not morality because if it was morality, they would be going after the whole website. But they're not. They're just going after one girl on the site. That's how I you, think they're that's going how after you, his morality, they're, maybe. They're because they have to pay for it. I Look, think they're going after his morality. But it's not it's not his morality that's up for debate. Uh, unless he's I, on unless he's on there posting dick pics, he didn't but do anything. It's say. his channel, so therefore because it's his channel, they're going after his morality. Actually it's he not. Was it's, not. Oh, it's not. She she has her own Twitch channel. Yeah. But aren't they going at him on his channel? Yes, they're going at him on his channel, but she actually is a tw a, tw a Twitch girl. She's a streamer. She has her own channel. Yeah. But what so I'm what I'm is saying is, going... why are they not going on Twitch harassing her? I don't know. But the, if they're iDubs fans and not fans of her, uh, then they're going to go after him and his well, morality. Well, look, even if I'm a fan of somebody, I'm not going to go after their fucking significant other. If they did something, I'm going to go after them. I'm not going to say... I'm mad at you, so I'm going after your girlfriend. Does I mean listen I to that? Does that make any sense? No, it actually, I actually agree. You shouldn't be going after the person that is not your target of hatred. I just think if, they're going if, after him because of who he is. You know, I think they're skipping over the fact that he actually did nothing wrong here. All he fucking did was say, "Look." I'm I'm cool with what she doing. I don't give a fuck. That's really all he did. That's what pissed everybody off. But I mean, it don't change the fact that he's a fickle, backstabbing motherfuckers on here. <laughs> Look, his situation once again reinforces what I've been telling you guys. And I know people hate to hear it, but it reinforces the point that I've been making. Fuck subscribers. 
fuck viewers, fuck fans, because they'll turn on you at the drop of a hat. And what's happening to iDubs is proof of that. Another thing, too, that bothers me about this whole thing, these women get away with stuff on both YouTube and Twitch that dudes can't do. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 biased that way. It really is. It's 100% biased towards yep. females. They get all the advantages, they get all the breaks, and they get none of the penalties that men get. Like, there, I was looking at some videos. Um, there's a guy on YouTube. He has Twitch and YouTube. His Twitch account been suspended. Because he said the word nigga. But he showed yeah. but he showed clips of Twitch girls saying it over and over again, and none of them got suspended for saying it. And the reason is because they have tits. <laughs> just call it the truth like what it is. They yeah, got it's just like yeah. that Alinity girl with views in her cat. Or was it a dog? That's the one that's her dog, her dog sniffing her crotch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I know there was one chick that was throwing her cat like up in the air behind her chair and yeah all that stuff. All, and nothing happens because they got tits oh speaking of tits what happened to van girl who van girl girl oh i don't know i haven't even looked on that chick's channel in forever i didn't didn't I, we talk <laughs> about her the one podcast because she we were saying she got paid by I forget who well, she is. Well, that's when I was doing that Phil, that Phil DeFranco slash Van Girl stream. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. She done fell off or something. I mean, I think she still makes videos, but her popularity done went away because YouTube ain't backing her like they used to. I think I still think she's a plant. I still believe that she was planted on there because YouTube is trying to change up their image. And they, they actually wanted a... Uh, uh, a cute, non-fat black girl with a nice attitude. Like, let's be real. Finding a black chick that don't have a fucked up attitude and a weight problem, that's almost impossible. You two found a gold yeah. mine when they found that girl. But now it's yeah. like, people don't give a shit. Like, they like, now yeah. you live in a van, so what? Look, when we, were growing, when we were growing up, living in a van meant you failed. Like, it really did. It meant that you fucked up somewhere in life. And you need to fix a lot of shit that's wrong with your life. But now living in a van yep. is like a sign of respect or something now. Like yeah. they actually care about these motherfuckers. Like a lot of surfers live out live out of their vans. Like it's Yeah, it's actually considered cool now to live in a fucking van. But like I said, when we were growing up, that shit wasn't cool. That shit meant you fucked up. It meant your life was fucked up. I remember right after that video came back, Stax did a video of his truck. <laughs> And I and you know what I ain't get I ain't get no kind of views for that shit. I bet I bet Damn. you money if I was a, oh. if I was a good looking chick, and I did a fucking video about my truck, I bet you that shit'll blow up. Cause I've been looking at the the van life videos, all the ones with hot looking chicks get a lot of views. All the ones with, all the ones with like dudes or average looking chicks don't nobody look at them. <laughs> yeah, so you got to be a hot chick with a piece of shit van, and you can get views. <laughs> Just show you how stupid YouTube is. They probably aren't even really homeless in the van. She not homeless. She can't be. She not. Her parents actually live right there in the 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 area where she rides around in her van. The little surfer girl, like this bitch, live on the beach and shit. You know. <laughs> Come on. She can go home, go home anytime she wants to. Damn Dude, man. that chick that that chick live right there. Her parents are like doctors or lawyers or something. They get oh, that. I bet you. Yeah, her family I got bet. money. That's why she's able to ride around in a van and pretend she lives in it because her family got paper. Oh, I bet she lives on the beach. Her parents probably have a house on the beach. Yeah, that <laughs> chick that chick is not living in the van. Like fuck all that retarded shit. Oh, I remember her now. So the one that you said that she parked the van at her house. At yeah, the uh, it, I, I remember it. I actually, re I actually reported that up from another channel where somebody else had uh, said that um, it was reported. I don't know how true it is because nobody ever put up proof, but it was reported that she every day that van was seen parked at a house every day, and it would stay parked until the next morning, and. That either you were sleeping in their driveway or you were going in the house sleeping and then coming out the next morning getting in the van. P 
people don't nobody knows because nobody ever really dropped any real information on it but when i found out her parents lived in that same area and that her parents were rich i was like oh this broad full of shit all right fucking she yeah nobody live who the fuck what you got parents with money and you choose to live in a uh 70 something model van that's a piece of trash on the beat come on nobody nobody <laughs> willingly does that like the, all the people who do these van life videos for the most part these motherfuckers got money the ones that are doing it i tell you what if you want to impress me do a real van life go to a real bum that's living in a van that smell you like know, that smells like 20 days of garbage and, and go and interview them and tell ask them if van life is cool you know what? That's got me thinking just out of the blue. You want ever watch those videos of these guys that actually mail themselves? Who the fuck doing some shit like that? I, I, just do a search on YouTube, man. These people are actually putting themselves in packages and mailing themselves through like whoever they're using, like UPS or whatever. What the fuck? They, they put like <laughs> they get, like put food and stuff, and they they like have baggies for like when they go to the bathroom and stuff like that that's so, that, it's legit who, like if who you, the if, fuck does shit like that what gonna do? Like, put, you can put your ass on a dolly and put you on the truck and mail your ass somewhere what hold on i'll, f I'll find one right now i'll, I'll just i'll yeah. go look for the first one i can find and i'll post it in the yeah, discord yourself. damn hey i guess whatever it takes to get that attention mm, really why well, he looking that up um, I want to bring up one more video that you did, Stacks. Uh -huh. And the one that got me was when the dudes were drinking her own bath water. You talking about that, that talking about that little chick with the pink hair? Uh, yeah, that chick ain't even on the internet no more. That bitch ended up going to jail and shit. Uh, you're going to jail? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. She yeah. Uh, uh, was her name Delphine, Belle Delphine or some shit. Yeah, that little yeah, chick. Yeah, Belle uh, Delphine. Yeah, that little chick, she ended up getting in trouble with the law, man. She went to jail. Like, her mugshots, so you can Google her mugshots. She painted Peppy the Frog on a, on a car. Yeah, that, and it's like, that, that, I swear to God, if you posted something, I'm going to kick your ass. That whole, <laughs> that whole bathwater thing was stupid. Like, guys were honestly paying for that shit. $2,500 for some chick's bathwater. Like, man... But you know what? It just shows you how dumb and horny men are. Yes. I, I Dub's yes. girlfriend has already made over $25,000 selling photos of herself. That is a testament to how dumb and horny men are. Craziness, man. Craziness. 25 grand to look at a chick naked when you can go on Pornhub and do it for free. <laughs> Here we go. I'm about okay. to send it to you here in a second. I just got to find. Okay. That's part of the reason why I can't even get mad at iDubbbz. That's hustling, man. Yeah. That's yeah. hustling. You getting niggas to pay for something yeah. they don't even have to pay for. That's real hustling. XN, XN, X, X, com is free, folks. If you can get somebody to pay for something that they can get for free, and they still come and pay for that shit anyway... Good. You the man. You are the yeah, man. Yeah, this one looked the most. This this one was done by Rice Gum. So I don't know if you want to show this or not on the. Dude, I would have to go over to my computer to do that, and chances you are I'm not gonna make that. Lazy move. bum. Oh well, I'm not too lazy to hit the ban button. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I can squeeze over there to make that happen. Ban him. Ban him. Well, if it'll get you to hit play on the video, at least I'll be able to watch it. Uh, well, you can watch it right now on your own computer, dick bag. Hey, I don't like I don't like rice gum. I only like playing this shit. Well, I could put it. Mr. Beast did one. I could put who, Mr. Beast on. Who, who is rice gum? I don't know who that is. Who is that? I don't know. I don't watch him. So he's that little Asian dude that used to do uh, rap beefs or some shit. You know, he used okay. to do the the rap with KSI and them motherfuckers. Okay. Yeah, that. that's him. He had some pretty okay. big videos on here, some big rap videos. Uh, then everybody found out that he had a ghostwriter and he wasn't really uh, writing those rhymes himself. Yeah, he was. Apparently, these 
guys did there was a human male challenge between a number of these guys that's kind of stupid niggas mailing themselves and shit yeah yeah i have to tell you that's fucking dumb why would anybody mail themselves somewhere i don't understand that there there's the mr beast one yeah. I'll look at it sometime this next millennium. Here, I'll post it in the chat too so people can Yeah, they can it. yeah, they can go look at it. I mean I don't there's, really, I don't really There's the Mr. Shit. Beast one for anyone that wants to go watch it. Hey, Free hey, hey, everybody. hey so, what's up? Who, who's hey, what's up, man? It? So real quick. So oh, real quick, hey, what happens when they hey. so what happens when they get what what happens when you get received at the receiving address? What happens? They mail themselves to someone they know. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I, I think, I, I think I there's been it's... one that I watched that they mailed to someone they don't know. Yeah. I forget who it was though. It's I've only seen one video like that, but they always mail themselves to someone they know. I wish a random nigga show up on my porch in a crib. <laughs> <laughs> and in a box full of like piss and shit in little Ziploc baggies. <laughs> That nigga straight regret that shit. <laughs> so it's up in the box, goes back to the casket. Like, who the fuck you, man? That's stupid. Yeah, just show you, man, what people are willing to do for attention. The internet, the internet generation, man, they'll do anything to get noticed. Oh. Anything. I, I just don't see a need for all that shit. I honestly, I go through phases where I wish, I wish I was a lot less known than I am. I don't really care about being known. It's just like that chick that tried to start the coronavirus challenge by licking the airplane toilet seat. Oh my god. That's just a nasty bitch is all that is. Just, she yeah. start, that's just a nasty... That, like you literally look at that chick and just say you a nasty bitch. Ain't no dude gonna, ain't no dude gonna want hair from her. Ain't no dude gonna kiss her. She ain't. Her lips are completely useless at this point. She yeah. might as well just no. chop them off. Ain't no dude want to no. be bothered with that. Yeah, like, in what world that. would that, why, what thought process would make you come to the re the point where you think that's okay? Because they she's a part food. of the dumbest generation to ever live. They know they're going you, listen, you, you obviously have no concept of how powerful peer pressure is nowadays. Like, when we were growing up, peer pressure was a motherfucker. But it's nothing. Oh, it was. Yes, it now, was. Now peer pressure is so powerful that these motherfuckers will do dumb shit like licking a toilet, because that the peer yeah. pressure nowadays is is way higher. Like it's nothing. The shit we dealt with is nothing compared to what they dealing with now. The stuff they have to do to be relevant now, the stuff they have to do in order to have friends now, we didn't have to yeah. go through any of that shit. We didn't have to put up with that shit just to have oh, friends. Yeah. These young kids today have to do incredibly stupid shit, or or they'll just be considered lame, and nobody will want to hang with them. Dude, Jamel, no, no, Jamel, no. Ain't no, ain't no dude gonna want smash. What did Jamel do? Who the fuck is Jamel? A guy in the chat. No, I'm not gonna read it out loud. What the fuck did he say? I'm not reading it out loud. Well, what the absolute holy fuck? R. Kelly. Think of R. Kelly. Oh, okay. Uh, there you go. No. <laughs> you wrong for that, Jamel. You wrong for that. That's all I'm saying. Talking about that chick, chicken. I mean, I'm food looking food. at the comment. It, it ain't really that bad of a deal. I mean, who gives a shit? I just deleted the comment. Yeah, but I don't see it as a problem. I mean, fuck it. Uh oh, we got buffering going on. I hope it stopped. Good. I ain't been over hey, here looking. So. Yeah, what's up? Hey. I've been enjoying the videos lately, man. It, it's been keeping me sane, you know, listening to some the laughing and stuff. And I'm glad you're not all doom and gloom like a lot of these other people, man. But I like hey, man. I like that video in the store today. That shit cracked me up, dude. I don't have I don't have time for doom and gloom. I'm just keeping it real. I don't have time for it. Like I've spent the better part of two years on this website, dooming and gloom, and I ain't got time for that shit no more, man. Fuck off. I've been uh, cleaning, up, cleaning up my shop. I've kind of been cleaning up my shops and uh, 
organizing my tools, kind of throwing a bunch of stuff away too, like you were. And I found stuff I've been looking for for fucking years, man. Just and everything, man. But uh, yeah, I've yeah, been doing that same on, thing. I, yeah, I, I just want to hop on here and, and, and tell you thanks for keeping on, you know, cranking out the good content and stuff because, uh, you know, it's it's. It's, I, I'm, I, I'm down to, I had two jobs. I'm down here at the ranch at the one job. I've, I've been on the tractor for like seven days planting these fields and stuff, but shit, you know, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, going crazy wanting good stuff to listen to, you know, so. Well, I know everybody been wanting more live streams, but, you know, when you're cl trying to clean a house as big as this one, and like, I mean, I've literally got stuff that it's been sitting underneath the house for like three years. You know, yeah. and, and it's hard to deal with all that stuff all at once. So it's been taking a lot of days to get a lot of that junk cleaned out. Then I'm having to post it on a website because I'm trying to get rid of the, like, I'm trying to sell the stuff that's actually worth a damn. The rest of it, I'm taking it to the dump or whatever. So it's just a lot of stuff. I, I mean, I just, I'm trying to get y'all as much content as I can. And um, frankly, it's it's been a little easier to do the last few days because I've been kind of off. But you know it is what it is. You got on wood, yeah, man. I'm sure. I'm sure appreciate it. I'm just but trying I mean, to I know do. I've been kind of uh, off of the Discord, and uh, you know I had uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got a few more of your videos. I'm gonna catch up and leave some comments. But I just been on that tractor. On that tractor, I can't even hardly hear anything. I had to have my earplugs in and stuff. But I finally got all 40 acres planted with hay today. Finished it and then it started raining. It's rained like three or four inches. So I, I got it nice. all done in time. Hey, Good uh, shit, man. Good well, shit. I, I'll tell you, don't don't mention too much about the tractor and all that. We don't want to hurt the feelings of people who don't do anything. You know, whenever, <laughs> whenever we dis anytime we discuss work or somebody actually, you know, making money, we typically run into an issue with people not liking it. So don't don't mention work too many times. <laughs> I messed up the front end of my Kubota. It, it uh, if I, I thought it hit a stump or something, the front, the differential locked up. So my neighbor let me finish with his John Deere tractor. But the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be tearing it down, having to get it up on blocks and tear down the whole front end of that tractor and get in that four wheel drive and see what's wrong with it. You know, this motherfucker. But, uh, Listen to this dude. He's yeah. still talking about work. He's gonna piss off all kinds of people. <laughs> How dare you talk about work? Yeah, I don't even yeah, care. I'm, I don't I'm, even I'm care no you. more, though. To be honest with you guys, I honestly, I, I done gave up on my my dream of trying to make motherfuckers work and get jobs and stuff. I done gave up on. I don't even care no more. To me, now it's just a big fucking joke. If somebody work or not, don't mean a fuck to me anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's fuck it. I don't even Ooh. care. I just. I used to, I ain't gonna lie, I used to actually give a damn now. It's like, who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives mm -hmm. a fuck? I was, oh, I was, I was tickled to death on that video you made the other day about the people not getting money that live with, that live with their mom and all that shit and other people claiming them as dependents and they're mad that they ain't gonna get no check. If somebody else claims you as a dependent, you don't need to get no damn check, you know? Yeah, they're they not, they're not money. giving anybody that's being claimed as a dependent or if you didn't file taxes the last two years, it's a couple other uh, mm -hmm. stipulations too. But for the most part, yeah, none of those people are getting shit, and it's a good thing because they ain't putting it into the system. They don't deserve it. I think but what the they're doing is that with the people who haven't filed taxes for two years, they're giving them a chance to file taxes. So yeah, so that they can then turn around and give them some money. But a lot of them haven't filed taxes because they know if they do, they're gonna end up having to pay from where they haven't been filing like if you don't file taxes for a while you have uh -huh. to pay all that fucking tax back once you do Ooh. finally file taxes that's fucking tax here. evasion dude if you don't pay your taxes yeah so they either they can either put you in jail or you pay all that money back like wesley snipes yeah wesley snipes had he owed three million in taxes that's why he went to jail they don't play that. You don't get money either. Yeah, and everybody, they think that they, oh, I don't make enough money for the IRS to care. Don't fucking fall for that. They care. They care about every red cent. Yeah, the, the IRS want their money. So those ones who think mm -hmm. they don't make enough for it to matter, it matters. 
when you're sitting behind bars and some dude named Big Bubba asking you what you in for, you'll be like, I should have paid my taxes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm. Tax these nuts. Now bend over. Pretty much. It's sad, but true. Now, I learned the hard way, man. Living on the wrong side of the law for too long, it didn't do me any good. It fucked my life up. I'm glad I'm doing it the right way now. Like, with all this shit going on right now, there's an urge in me to want to go fucking rob a bank or some shit. But I'm, I just, yeah. I'm not going to do it because my life is too important now to be fucking off like that. Yeah. One, yeah, one thing this thing has taught me is I need to save more money instead of getting my paychecks and spending so much all the time. I need to start like saving, yep. putting some in savings because you know it's. I think a lot of Americans. That's why our economy was thriving and booming because people just spend, 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 spend. Well, they you know they I mean? they out. Most people spend their money as soon as they get it. Like that's one of the biggest things yeah. about America. Most people, as soon as they get their paycheck. Like most of them have already spent it before they even get it. They already know what they're gonna buy before they even get paid. And um, yeah. we all need to learn how to start putting back. You know? Yeah. yeah. I know I do. I know this. It's, 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 it should teach valuable lessons to everybody. And and the other, well, one, I'll say one more thing. One one good thing about this is I've been I've been uh, talking my son. My son lives down in Houston, and my granddaughter lives down in Houston. Too. I've been I've been like a video chatting with them on a messenger and some friend I've talked to some friends I've lost contact with and everything and video chat because just out here on this ranch you just you you know you I, I'm so isolated I'll go crazy you know but one thing it's good is I've been getting you know kind of back in contact and, and getting close with my with my I didn't talk I've been talking to my mom video chatting with her every day you know it's kind of brought me closer to friends and family, which is a good thing. You know, people I hadn't talked to in a long time, like my uncle and, you know, and stuff that I had kind of neglected. Oh, I'll, I'll text you. I'll call him later, you know, but it's, it's got me back in contact with a lot of people. Hell, I'm trying to get the hell away from motherfuckers yeah. myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, I mean, the only good thing I'm getting out of this, I ain't got to be bothered with people. Yeah. I mean, I don't care. I, I got enough sense to know this shit will be over soon. I ain't worried about it. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah. it only seemed like it'll drag out. Well, it's, I mean, the, the, the economy is going to dictate everything. And people don't like the... They, they really don't understand how important the economy truly is. But the people behind the economy have some real power. And they're going to put yeah. some massive pressure on the president and he gonna have to make a decision you know and like i told you guys when it comes down to it the folks who hold the election in the palm of their hands those yeah. are the people with the money the ones who pay for the campaigns and uh -huh. they gonna yeah. be the ones to basically make that final decision I'm telling you yeah the ones that they say that are like the i go i guess not deep state but the but the people that behind the scenes that they say pull everybody's puppet strings, it's like some people will say it don't matter who's president. Those are the people that really run the country, you know, those kinds of people. Well, and, I, don't, I don't think they run it. I just think they pay for it. I think they're the ones who put people in office. Um, the presidency <laughs> is the only job where people pay billions of dollars to get it. And the reason why people pay billions of dollars to become president it's because of the perks and the power that come with the position. Yeah. Nobody, I mean, think, do you, is there a job anywhere in this country that you would pay a billion dollars to get? No, there's no. nothing. The only job that's worth that much money is the presidency because the amount of power that you get from that job, it makes it worth it. President yeah. can yeah. almost do anything, and that's just real talk. They, they like right there on the edge of being able to do just about anything they want. Yeah. You can't find another and, and job in this country when, like that. Yeah. When you, when you're in your set for life after you, I mean, you're always be president and, and like, even like Bill Clinton, when he goes somewhere and he speaks for 30 minutes, they pay him hundred, two hundred thousand dollars $200,000 for that, for that speech, you know? Yep. Yeah. And you got that lifetime 
Secret uh, Service. Secret Service. Yep, yeah, and you yeah. get and you get lifetime uh, health benefits, lifetime uh, health insurance, like all all that stuff goes with you, even after your your uh, term is over. And you make all that money on a regular basis, even though you're not in office. Yep, being president mm-hmm. has some serious perks, man. I mean, it's real talk. So that's why a lot of people they'll spend a lot of money to be president because it's worth it. Yeah. I don't think anybody wants to be in Donald Trump's situation right now, though, because it's, it's got to be hard to be him and, and have to listen to all these people every day and, and listen to all these projections and stuff. I got a feeling. I can't imagine having to. I got a feeling that they already have a vaccine or something for this shit. I think that I think they're playing it up because the person that actually has already made this shit. Do you realize the level of payday they are about to get? If if they have if they, if if their company has a vaccine or they've developed one and they're just holding it and they're just waiting it out, the whoever that company is, they're gonna get some massive money because every, everybody in the world is gonna want a piece of that. Yeah. So they they're smart to hold it as long as possible. Hold it as long as you can because when you finally say, "All right, guys, here's the vaccine," people are going to be so desperate that they'll buy it at any price. Every country will pay whatever price to get it. Yeah, yeah. So I think that I honestly I, I, believe that's what's going on right now. I think somebody's already developed something, and they're just holding out because they know they're going to get a massive payday out of it. Yeah. You know, China sent us the whole genome of the whole virus, like a. A month. They've had it for a month or two, you know. The Chinese did. They've had it for a year, actually. They did. The Chinese have had to, because I think we we already have more deaths here than what China ever reported. And so they, it's just obvious they lied about all their numbers. China know? lied about everything because nobody likes America, and and the, the, all those countries over there hate us because we have the one thing that they all wish they had, freedom. Hmm. I mean, I mean, you people underestimate how jealous these other countries are of us. Like America, like why do you think people in other countries talk so so much so much shit about us? Like I look at like they're like some of these little British douchebags on here and all this and that. They talk so much shit about America, and it's because they so fucking jealous of the fact that we have real freedom in this country, real freedom. It ain't fake. It ain't manufactured. We we can literally do whatever the fuck we want as long as we fucking follow the law. In other yeah. countries, you mm-hmm. can follow the law and still you don't have unlimited freedom like we have in this country. Yeah. They hate us for it. It's, they do. And we and we give those countries billions of dollars in aid, you know? Yeah. So that's what, we're going to be making, watch, you know, a few months, we're going to be making ventilators and sending them out all over the world because we're one of the few countries that have the um, infrastructure and stuff, or we we can manufacture ventilators and stuff. And well, Donald Trump, Donald food. Trump cut off trading with other countries right now because a lot of countries have been asking oh. us for shit. He's cut it all off until America it gets this shit figured out. So we ain't gonna be doing much <laughs> anything. But I like yeah. I said, I I think pretty soon we're gonna when all these deadlines and shit start coming up, I think you're gonna start seeing some talk. It's pretty soon. They actually started it today, actually. Uh, I was listening to a uh, couple news channels, and they've already started talking about, oh, there's some drugs out there that's been having some good results. And I was like, uh-oh, it's time to change the narrative. Somebody done found something, so now they finna start pushing it. And uh, yeah, they've been doing it the last couple of days. If you look at the news, you'll see what I'm talking about. They done start talking about yeah. a possible cure now and all that shit. And that just came out of the blue. All of a sudden, there's a possible cure. Come on, yeah, man. That yeah. shit. You didn't just invent that shit. You've already had it. Yeah, it's uh, hydroxychloroquine and some other medications that they use to fight malaria. Yeah. yeah. They're having some luck with that. Well, uh, they said that it, it's not a cure, but it basically, it, it, it stops the final result of it. It stops you from dying pretty much. Like, you'll still be sick, but you just won't, you just won't die like, some, like other people. That's what it, but the thing is, they claim that they're still testing it or all. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. Somebody finna make a serious fucking bank off this shit. Oh, yeah. so yes. it, 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 it stops it from getting to the stage of pneumonia. 
-hmm. Yeah. Does it? But does it? See, here's the thing that gets me with that. Do you? It stops it from getting to pneumonia, but do you still have the virus itself, or does it kill? Does the virus die on its own? Well, the virus just goes kind of goes away on its own after so many days. Yeah, you build up an immunity. Yeah, the human exactly. body, the human body can build up an immunity to shit uh, after being exposed to it for a certain amount of time. This yeah. uh, this coronavirus is particularly tough, so it takes the human body about fourteen to twenty days to build up a strong immunity to it to where it don't affect you. That's the same thing with HIV yeah. now. They got a drug that they that you can take. It's one of the most expensive drugs in the world though, but it literally it it destroys the HIV virus to the point where you still have HIV but they can't even detect it in your blood anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Not, like you say, like Magic Johnson, I mean he yeah. basically doesn't have any detectable HIV in his blood anymore. Yeah, because, because he, he had access to these drugs back when they were so expensive, regular people never heard about them. But now yeah. they're they're starting mm -hmm. to come to market, and now regular people are starting to find out. Like, Magic Johnson had these 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 drugs decades ago. Yeah, yeah. but they're just making, mm -hmm. they're finally making them available to regular people who aren't rich, and now we're starting to see the results of that. They would tell Magic got anything. Well, I always used to tell people, y'all, I mean, I used to tell people all the time, this dude has had HIV longer than most people with HIV ever live. This dude has had HIV for going on 40 years now, and nobody's yeah. ever had HIV that long and survived. So you know his ass had to been getting some seriously good drugs in order to, be, to still be alive. And not only is he alive, but he don't even look like he's sick. Not at all. He don't even look like he's sick. So that's how you know that when you got money, you got access to stuff. That's why most of the people dying from coronavirus aren't are, are regular Joes. Ain't no rich people who got that shit dying from it. Yeah. They got money. They got access to shit. Magic Johnson's patient zero. <laughs> I think they just use magic to scare the hell out of the black population. Because back when magic got it, black dudes and black females were fucking anything with that move. If you lived in the hood, every, I'm telling you, I ain't any bullshit. If you lived in the hood, every corner had that black chick, that fucking little ratchet chick that everybody knew they could fuck. Yeah. Everybody hitting it. Yo, you hitting it, your friend hitting it, everybody. I mean, chick probably got like 20, 30 kids. And that's what was going on in the hood. That's why that shit was spreading. Like, I mean, I know folks don't, li folks don't like to hear because they get mad and call me Uncle Ruckus. But... The truth of the matter is, the, the the black community is like, if you want to catch gonorrhea, syphilis, any of that shit, just go to the hood and fuck a black chick. It's Who was, it? Was, it Will, was it Will Chamberlain that claimed that he slept with over like 200,000 women or something like that? Yep. It was Will. Will Chamberlain. It was Will. Yeah. I think if you do the math, that meant he was like having sex with, with 15 different women every day. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell y'all yeah. straight up. When I Growing up in the hood, there was one word that I never fucking heard black women say. No. And that word was gynecologist. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> never heard them say it i never heard them i'm going to get my pussy checked that's why they have so many kids and so many diseases because they don't go and get their shit checked out they just fuck every nigga in the street that's how you find out if some bitch got something they open their legs mm -hmm. yeah that that's how the hood man i'm gonna tell you i learned these hard lessons and i know they i know it's not nice and i know people don't like to hear it but it's the truth man if Bring a friggin' inspection kit with you every time you're about to go have sex. <laughs> if you're a black dude in the hood, the number one thing you have to ignore is the lie that all the hood girls and all the black women tell. The first lie that you're told if you're a young black dude in the hood is that you need to you need to be with your own. You need to stay with your own. Don't listen to that shit. Don't yeah. don't fall for that. That's a trap. Lie number one. It is a trap. It's just to keep your ass in the ghetto with them. That's all it is. They don't. That's why they get so mad when they see you with a white woman or with an Asian woman. Love knows no race or color. Listen here, uh -huh. D-Bag. Who the fuck asked you? 
No, <laughs> I'm gonna get, no one but I gave my point and my opinion anyway. No, nobody give a shit. Listen here, Cupid. You can take that bullshit on somewhere because that shit you saying ain't fucking true. I'm I'm in Georgia and I get all the looks and I don't give a damn. Look, you can keep on saying love knows no this or that, but listen, it is an absolute fact, and you can look at the numbers. If you line up ten black women in a fucking straight line, you can you can't you can barely get one out of the group that won't fuck your life up. You think I'm lying? Go ask Prince Harry. His black woman done fucked up the royal family. And she actually is a decent looking black woman. But what has she done to the yeah. royal family? They in the newspaper every day cause Meghan Merkel done fucked up their family. A black chick. No, you can't she tell me. Like <laughs> you can't <laughs> tell me. I I know what they do. You know your level you know your level of fucker, fuckery is, is just on point when you mess up royalty. That bitch ghetto as hell. Yeah, she good looking, but she a ratchet ass ghetto chick. That's why she done fucked their family up. Cause even the good looking black <laughs> girls can be ratchet and ghetto. You keep on believing that all oh, it don't matter what color they are. So you don't understand black women at all. All black women got ratchetity in them. All of them. No, I said that because I was talking. That bitch, that bitch be drinking 40s and eating hot wings up there on the Look, floor. all black women have some fucking level of ratchet in them. Even I wasn't talking about black women. I was talking about the guys or whoever. If you want to love someone of a different race, you can. That's what I was saying. Uh, you, you just sound like you was repeating that same old bullshit to me, but whatever. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I, 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 ma I made no mention of black women. I just said, oh, you yes, we know, we know, ways. because you don't like mentioning look, my, anything race related or whatever. Look, look, my thing is, I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna do one more, do regardless. I live in Georgia, I'm in the Bible Belt, I live with that junk every doggone day. What now with a white woman get looks? What now with an Asian woman get looks? I look, uh, William, day. listen, I'm, I'm listen, day. William, I want to ask you this because you know better than anybody if I'm lying or not. Have I said anything thus far? That's been wrong, incomplete, or made up about black women. Sir, I was married to one for 14 years, so I'm right there with you, bro. Everything I done said about them has been proven. Because guess what? Here's something that is automatic. You can ask every black dude right now in America. And you, even if we don't all know each other, you can literally just go for one black, go to every state, pick a black man out, and, and ask him a simple question. What do you hate about black women? And the number one answer would be they got the most fucked up attitude in the world. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it's, that, that's what they say. That, that a lot of a lot of a lot of black women would try to run run the run the the man, you know, run him into the ground, you know, yep. try to control, put him down, put him down. Oh, that dude! Like Listen, they have no problem with trying to embarrass you in public. Like, how Ooh. many times have you been in public Ooh. and you done seen a black woman hollering and screaming and hitting her fucking boyfriend? You ain't Ooh. shit. Yeah. You a piece of shit. You did. They love that shit. They yeah. love dogging a motherfucker out in front of people. The minute that man slug him back, oh my. He going to fucking jail he because them hoes the love jail. calling the police. That's the he number one the, thing. Yeah, I'm calling the police on you. I'm yep. calling the police on you, Tyler. And I'm going to tell you I'm something else they love to do, too. They love calling their cousin or their uncle or their brother to come fight you. They call my brother. You yep. hit me again, I'm going to call my brother. Man, get out of here. Every black dude I know, they done had to fight some black girl's brother or cousin or a niece or nephew. They done had to fight somebody because them bras love calling somebody over to your house to fight with you. I'm going to call my daddy. I'm going to call my uncle. I'm going to call my brother. I'm going to call all of them and they going to gang you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I'm, te I'm telling you these know? dudes. I'm yeah, telling hey, these dudes the truth. Ryan, look, look. I'm the only person on this call that's older than him. But I'm telling y'all, he ain't lying. Straight facts, cuz. Straight facts. Uh, how, how, old, how old are you? How old are you? Is that William? How old are you? I'm 48 years old. And I'm telling you, he's telling straight. He's telling straight truth. Straight. Truth. Oh, I'm four. I'm, I'm 46. Well, yeah. why, I got a question then. Both y'all older than me, so why do I get called old all the time? That doesn't make any sense. I get called. Got, 
Because we ain't got YouTube channels like you do. Yeah, I guess that matters. Now, 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 if my YouTube channel gets big, then they'll come after me and call me old and fat. Oh, they already doing it. Don't worry. Trust me. <laughs> now that you revealed your age, they are, it's already done happen. Don't so. me. I'm yeah. next. <laughs> the problem, like, is, the, the problem is when you don't give a fuck, irrelevant ass niggas don't matter to you. So. Okay. Yeah, that's why it don't matter what they say no more. Them days are done. But I, I, I just yeah, like to see. I like to tell you younger guys the real shit. Like, if you a black dude, don't fall for the trap that you have to be with a black chick. Look, there's a reason that black dudes, when they make it to the NFL or NBA, they high school and college sweetheart as a black girl. But when that first check come from your team, you notice <laughs> they married to a white woman all of a sudden. Perfect example. Tim Duncan. Yep, Tim Duncan was with a black chick mm-hmm. all the way mm-hmm. from from high school into college. When that motherfucker got in the NBA, he was married to a white woman. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Hundred percent. Exactly. Because the one thing that you can't have when you're dealing with black chicks is money. They will spend every fucking cent on they self. <laughs> They that's, won't. That's they all, won't that's spend. A whole, that's a lot of women, though, too. Though. Yeah, but but not. No, uh, no. You you don't understand. No, it's not a lot of women. Women. There are materialism is something that is a female trait. But you ain't seen nothing until mm-hmm. you seen a black woman spend your money. It, tell me to tell you about it, 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 it's degrees. It's degrees to the materialism. Yeah, black and women. They they the fucking. Women, they crank it up to eleven, homes. If you tell a mm-hmm. black woman that you got a hundred dollars, she'll spend ninety eight of it. No oh, questions oh, asked, and she oh, won't give a fuck. Know. You could be saying, "Hey, babe, this is my last hundred dollars," and that bitch will spend it. She won't care. Got two more examples to give yeah. you. I got I got two more examples to give to y'all. Kevin Garnett, go for it. A black. Two more two more examples. Kevin Garnett married a black chick in the divorce. He almost lost everything. Uh, if you go back and look at Kenny Smith, married to a black chick. Yeah. Divorce came up, almost lost everything. He went in there playing, man. I'm gonna tell you, and and, a, and the reason why I say they all ratchet. Look at look at look at like I guess you consider one of the number one black women in this country, Beyonce. Look look at what her and her sister did to Jay Z in that elevator. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, ratchet as fuck. Your sister yeah. sitting there punching your husband and you fucking mad at him. I mean, it, and then look at you remember Ray Rice, the dude that knocked, dude. knocked his wife out in the, in the elevator. Yep. You want to yeah. know the part of the video they cut off? The part where she was hitting and spitting in his face and shit. They cut all that <laughs> off to try to make him look like a wife beater. But they but all they showed is him knocking that bitch unconscious. But before they before that, she was punching him, spitting in his face. Kicking him in the nuts, all kind of shit. They cut all that part off the video because they just yeah. wanted to make him look bad. But the truth is, that's it's how so that's how black women treat black men. Even if you a rich black man, that's how they treat you. Because mm-hmm. nobody hates black men more than they black women. Yeah, but they showed the clap. Back, but they never showed the initial clap. Yeah, they never show what they the one, what the woman do. They always show the man knocking her ass out. Well, she lucky because I'm gonna tell you right now, I'll let a woman hit me. You spit in my face. I'm going to diamond cut your ass. See, we would have we would have went out the fucking glass from the elevator. I would have diamond cut her ass from the 30th floor all the way to the goddamn lobby. We'd have flew all the way down. We wouldn't have had to take the elevator. I would have diamond cut her ass to the goddamn bottom floor. I would have fucking went down with that bitch, but I would have fucking ddt that bitch through the fucking parking lot. Spit him. Hey, I'm spitting in somebody's face, man. Listen. Spitting in it's, somebody's face the is the ultimate it. ass beating, whether you a male or yeah. female. You spit in somebody's face, you deserve to be rope a doped. That's the ultimate yeah. sign of disrespect. Ultimate sign of disrespect. Yeah, yeah and that, I mean, I'm sorry. And I mean, I, when I seen the first initial video, the, with the cut version of it, when he just knocked her out, I was like, oh, this nigga going to jail and his career over. But when they showed the full clip where she spit in his face, kicked him in the nuts, all that shit she did to him, I said, oh, that bitch lucky to be alive. <laughs> I said, she lucky to be alive. Not only did you spit in this dude's face, but you actually kicked him in the balls? Yeah. Nah, she she, she got lucky. 
Because I promise you, I would have hurt that bitch bad. I would have really, I would have went to jail for real. She would have been fucking crippled. Rock bottom. Shit. I would have grabbed that bitch face and smashed it into the side of that elevator. You're not going to spit in my face. I tell females in a heartbeat, you don't want to be treated like a dude? Don't act like one. My ex wife hit me in the head with a with a clothes iron when I was passed out drunk. I came in late one night. When my ex wife, I came in passed out drunk on the couch about two or three in the morning. She she come over there and with the clothes iron, hit me in the head with that clothes iron. It put a triangle in my head. Didn't go away for, for like six months. A little triangle. Damn, dude. dude, she could have killed you with that a fucking iron. You could have died yeah. from head trauma. Dude, you want to hear something even more fucked up? I was with my, my son's mother, right? She was coming at me with a butcher knife. I got scars on my right arm from it. The cops came. I was restraining her. So she had bruises on her arm for me holding her so tight. They arrested both of us. Well, yeah, because uh -huh. they, they do it based on who how many marks you got on your body. Because you left marks on her, they had to arrest you. It's like, well, what the fuck was I supposed to do? Let her cut me up? Yep. I mean, I mean I'm not Christ. even being funny, but yep, that's what you were supposed to do. You're supposed to yeah, let her yeah, stab yeah. you or cut you and then basically take off running. And when the cops got there, they would have took her to jail, not you. But now, see, nowadays, nowadays, the cops, if they come out for a domestic disturbance, somebody's going to jail. One of you used to, the cops would come out there and they try to do counseling in some sort of way and a little bit of this and a little bit of that now if they come out there somebody's going to jail well they tell you that they tell you now like whenever you call yeah. them nowadays like uh -huh. when you're on the when you're on the damn phone they'll tell you you know if we come somebody's going to jail are you sure you can't settle this on your own they, they mm -hmm. ask you now because they they're just letting you know you you somebody taking a ride you know did you, did you did y'all see the, the just get off? Well, did y'all see that uh, OJ? I don't know if y'all watched that show Tiger King on Netflix. I've been some, I've been watching so much stuff. Yeah, on I, I, I've seen some some of the news about it, but I haven't watched the show. So uh, it's really good, man. There's so many train wreck people on that show. This one guy that's the Tiger King. He's like a gay country western singer, and uh, and the, the the lady is she. She supposedly like fed one of her ex husbands. Is hit. nobody knows where he is. Supposedly she fed him to one of the tigers or something. But he hired a hitman to kill uh, to kill her. But the show shows like a train wreck. But anyway, the OJ got on his Twitter today and said, "Yep, she definitely she definitely fed that motherfucker to a tiger." <laughs> so I was like, "Well, I guess if anybody would know about it, OJ would, you know." Damn, man. <laughs> Damn. A lot of people believe that she I killed. She had her husband killed and fed to a tiger. She looked guilty yeah. to me. I saw another picture of OJ. He put on Twitter and he had his mask on and had a, a, a cart at Costco. And he had like he had like eight, 15 packs of toilet paper and uh, water. He he had a big old OJ had a big old cart and had his mask on and everything. He's like. Are y'all afraid of the coronavirus or whatever? OJ, I don't know if y'all follow OJ on Twitter, but but it, it's hilarious. Some stuff he posts. You know what's fucking you know what's hilarious? <laughs> this is what's, what's funny as hell. Even though OJ went to prison and all this other shit, this motherfucker still gets mm -hmm. paid by the NFL, and he oh, still yeah. and he and, and he still has benefits from the NFL because he's in a he's in the Hall of Fame. When you're a Hall of Famer, you automatically get a paycheck. And health benefits from the NFL until you die. So even though he was in prison and all that shit, his bank account was just collecting cash from where they were depositing those Hall of Fame checks. That's why he got so much money now that he out of prison because all that money just sitting in there until he got out of jail. Definitely wasn't broke. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, he he, he's that's paid. Sure. He's big time. Cause yeah. uh, if you were a Hall of Famer, I think the Hall of Fame pay is like four or five hundred thousand a year, you know, just for being a member of the Hall of Fame. And that money was Damn, just that, that. yeah, that money was just sitting in there while he was locked up. It was just collecting interest. So that motherfucker was paid when he got out. I think that's another yeah, reason why, and I think that's another reason why T.O. is made his such his big push to get in there, and he finally got in because of the fact. Hey, yeah, T.O. was man. broke, man. Yeah, he was broke. T.O. was like flat was broke, broke, like 
T.O. was so broke, he was about to move in with relatives. That's how broke T.O. was. Mm -hmm. If he didn't, yeah. if he if he didn't make the Hall of Fame, he was gonna be in some real trouble. The Hall of Fame is pretty much oh, keeping yeah. him off the street. That money he getting from being a Hall of Famer is keeping you him get off money the street. From being in the Hall of Fame, yeah, yeah, he, you he get paid. Deserved, deserved yeah, you get you get he NFL, deserved. you get NFL payments and benefits for being in the Hall of Fame. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. And, and T.O. can make and it's all, a damn shame. All sports because Hall of Fame pay you. Baseball Hall of Fame pays yeah, you. Yeah. All of them do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And it's a damn shame. And it's a damn shame because you can make an argument for T.O. being probably the second or third greatest wide receiver. Well, the only receiver with, with better Rice the only receiver off. with better stats than T.O. is Jerry Rice. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and they still fought, it still took him forever to get into the hall because of his behavior, because of the shit he was doing yeah. off the field. Yeah. But, do y'all do y'all just do y'all miss sports? I I kind of really miss the distraction of. I mean, I, and only, thank goodness that they're still going to do the NFL draft. That's the only thing the only that I watch, right only thing I watch is NFL. So as far as I'm concerned, it don't matter to me. It, it, and, it, and I think Goodell and them came out today, and they said that they're planning on. I mean, so far the NFL has not called off their season. They say in September they they hope to have. Full stadiums for preseason games and yeah, everything. So in that, September, a, yeah. dude, we hoping for a bunch of shit. But I'm gonna tell you right now, they just now starting all these new new lockdowns at the beginning of April. I got a feeling that this shit gonna go until May, and then I think that's when the economy is gonna be at the point where where they gonna have to um they gonna have to make a serious move. They're gonna have to do something to save yeah. the economy, and I think what they gonna do. Is Trump going to come out and say, hey, look, these businesses can open up, blah, blah, blah. Everybody be safe. And I think people are going to go back to regular life and start ignoring this shit. I know I am. I do, too. I, NBA, I totally agree with you on that. And I think that I think that Trump is going to, you know, at one point he's going to tell him, look, I'm not. He's got these doctors around him telling him to keep keep everything shut down. But Trump, you got to you got to remember the election is in November and uh he wants to reopen the economy at some point to to get some kind of incline and get go be he wants the economy to come be going on the uptrend when when november hits well the president you know, always needs. the president always pays the price for a bad economy i don't care who yep. the president yep. is if you're the president and the economy's bad you pay the price so exactly no matter no matter whether it's coronavirus or what so yeah. sometime before november he's got to crank it up he's He's got to get things going on the up on the uptick, but what what they're saying is these other people are like, oh well, well he can't do that because there might be a second wave when it cools. You off know what? I'm gonna tell you that that's bullshit. That's another scare tactic because once human mm -hmm. beings gain, once we gain an immunity to this thing, the only way it can come back and hurt us is if it mutates into something else. But if it's the same exact coronavirus, if we gain a uh, 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 if we gain immunity to it, which basically is Pretty much the community has has dealt with it for so long that we've just gained uh, what they call herd immunity is where the population yep. uh, as a whole is just immune to it. If it's the same exact coronavirus, then it won't hurt us. Now, if it's a brand yeah. new strain of it, then, yeah, that might do something. But if it's the same shit we got right now, that shit ain't going to do nothing. It's just scare tactic. Right. Keep on fucking keep. Man, I, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Like, just where I'm at right now, okay, there's only been, I think, five people in the whole county who've died, and there's only been, like, 50 people who've gotten the shit in the whole county. There's, like, 200, 300,000 people in this fucking county, but because of five motherfuckers, you want to destroy all of these, econ all these local economies of all these people? Did this mm. the numbers don't make sense is my problem with all of this there are not enough people who are sick and dying to destroy an entire economy i'm sorry it's yeah, just yeah. not it's got to be in the millions it's got to be in the millions trump's re-election probably f will be determined by what he does in the few months or however long he has when this is over he it really will dude trump is toast and I'm saying that I'm saying that as somebody who actually likes Trump. He's host. He's done. 
have y'all uh, seen the have y'all seen the irony about how the for 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 two or three years that we've said oh you can't shut down the Mexico border Trump can't shut down Mexico uh, you can't shut down that border it can't be done hell Mexico shut that shit down in, in two weeks they shut the border Mexico shut the damn border yeah. down in, and, yeah. and they're, they're shutting down borders between states. Like, you can't drive into Florida from, like, Georgia. or the, If we can shut down borders between states, we could have shut that shit down a long time ago, you know? So, yeah. It, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, oh, you can't shut down the Mexico-U.S. Uh, uh, border. It's impossible. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey NBA, know? I know this is off topic, but I just talked to my, my friend who works at GameStop. Um, he says that basically, yes, um, they are losing 300 stores, but, um, what they're doing now, the store is actually closed, but you can do, they have what's, they're having curbside pickup. So you can purchase the item online first, and then you can actually go pick it up at the store. Well, what we were talking about with the store closures is, after this shit is over with they're they're permanently closing 300 stores like yeah yeah, yeah. across the nation they're getting rid of them because they have so many like like where i'm at right now there is three game stops within walking distance of each other there's <laughs> too, it's too many of them like you can honestly start walking from one and get to the other one in about 10 minutes like no bullshit just walking it's because they got them so close together because they took, they were taking advantage of the gaming market back in the days. But now the gaming market ain't the same anymore. So having all these stores that close to each other is actually a hindrance and it's hurting them. So that's why they're closing a lot of them. Remember how big Blockbuster Video used to be? Oh my god, they were every fucking where. You could Yeah, we talk about that. The future of the gaming industry is going to where people are just going to download games online and and you know it's already there it's, nobody it's fucking buys there. this anymore yeah. like only yeah. people who buy disc are people who just need a physical copy people them weird motherfuckers who just gotta have a a disc in their <laughs> hand but most people are just yeah. just downloading did you see there didn't like in a certain certain companies are taking advantage of this in a way like do you see where cheesecake factory they said that none of their stores are gonna pay rent this yeah like, i've seen that yesterday. they just built they, a, said, they just built a brand new anywhere. yeah they just built a brand new one here they built a brand new mm -hmm. i mean it's not even it's not even two months old they also built a brand new dave and busters here too because i had to go and do a survey on it when it when they got done working on it yeah yeah they building I, a I lot of that shit here friends, and he said that he lives in an apartment building and they they all got letters going around. They're trying to get an agreement where none of them are going to pay rent in the whole apartment building because they're, well, they're they they don't even calculus. need they don't even need to do that because the courts yeah. are shutting down the eviction court. Like uh, here where I live, um, they said that they're not even doing evictions. They they're not even going to start eviction proceedings until ninety days after this shit is ended. So let's say coronavirus yeah. ends in June. Then the mm -hmm. people who haven't paid their rent got 90 days from that point to get their rent caught up because the courts are not yeah. even accepting. They're not even accepting eviction notices right now. Our court, our yeah. courts are all shut down. They close every court building. There is no jurisprudence hey. going on at all. So if you go to jail, you can't even get a bail hearing right now because there ain't no judges, no lawyers. It's all shut down. Oh shit! Yeah, the last thing right now that you want to do is go to jail. Oh, that's why I told I told a friend of mine who uh, who's still dealing in the, the criminal side of things. I told him the other day. I said you need to sit your ass down. I said you got plenty of time to make money. Right now is not the time because you don't want to be sitting in a jail cell in a crowded ass jail sleeping next to some nigga when all these people getting sick. Because all it'll take is mm -hmm. one person. To come in there with coronavirus mm -hmm. and that whole jail is sick the whole damn jail i said don't yep. fucking do it. it ain't worth it because he i mean he'll he'll fucking dope boy and he think that he gonna i've got to get out there and make mines i said your ass gonna be fucking sorry you gonna wish you had to listen to me yeah it's just not you don't want to go you don't want to go to jail because they're not gonna they're not gonna they're gonna delay hearings 
they're gonna yeah you'll be sitting in there forever yeah they they know? already said that um they're now they are releasing non-violent offenders people who don't have like violent felonies and stuff they're letting them out but if you got any kind mm -hmm. of felony or violent shit man shit you fucked I'll, I'll i'll send you i'll put a link to an article i read the other day in a utah where they released this guy that was supposedly a non-violent uh offender but he was he was he's gone back several times for violating parole he got out and two days later i think this was in utah and he broke into a woman's house and took all her credit cards and uh you know beat her up and and then when the cops came he was like he like hopped in or he like hopped in her bed or whatever but some of these people that they're letting out are, are they really shouldn't be probably letting out you know yeah some of these some of these people are you know well I, I can, they can they consider uh they consider nonviolent offenders less of a threat even even if some of the nonviolent guys do threatening fucked up shit if they haven't been arrested for it or haven't been jailed for it like say you got a guy who's done some violent shit but he's only been locked up for cheap shit like theft and stuff like that then even though he's even though he has that tendency to do bad stuff they're going to release him still because he has never been charged and convicted for it so they they ain't going to keep him in jail for what he might do you know they're going to let him out that's what's been going on they've been releasing people because they've been charged with petty crimes like i'll be honest i don't think i don't think that you should go to fucking jail for shit like shoplifting and shit like that that shit is stupid why are you gonna lock up somebody? Or selling weed or selling yeah, why are you gonna lock up a motherfucker in there with hardened criminals for shoplifting? Like you gonna end up getting a motherfucker yeah. killed that way. That shit is stupid. Yeah. I ain't never understood why they lock up people for nonviolent shit and you lock them up with violent criminals. It's stupid. Like you can't yeah. treat all crime the same. You know, somebody going who in there for shooting somebody. You know, that's not the same as somebody in there for stealing a candy bar or some shit like that. And they, they need yeah, to fix that problem. Yeah, and a lot of them are in there because they got some crappy-ass public defender that didn't that didn't care, didn't know what they were doing, and and just told them, you know, here, I got you this, I'm going to put, you know. They, if they would have if they would have just had a little bit of money to get a decent halfway attorney, they never even would have been locked up, you know? Yeah, that's that's the way that's the way that works. These crappy public defenders, they don't, they don't give shit. About now, comic comic do. book stores are trying to get a bail out. Now they're dying too, but they're they're dying because of all this fucking um, this um, gender well, identity know. shit they doing. Like my brother was telling me I about it. Like um, he stopped buying comic books. He's been buying them his whole life. He stopped. He said after that, uh, Snowflake and safe space characters he said he done he's not buying nothing else and and that's what's happening their whole their whole industry dying over that shit man over should be shot for that hey that you know what such, that that put us in such a that put every black man in such a bad light it's pathetic hey there's so many other black heroes out there we could be looking at, but you choose. You give us some of the gayest ones possible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's bad. The, that, dude, that. the dude got pink hair and a pink tracksuit. <laughs> you yeah. scared of that? Yeah. <laughs> no. Like, I wish a hero no, would run. I wish a hero a would run show. up on me, talk about, you know, I'm safe space and I'm going to stop your, I'm going to stop your evil deeds. Here's your sign. Your like, dude, your you ass. finna get your ass not. beat. What kind of hero are you? Yeah. Like, Hell what is yeah. what is your power? Like, what is what does your powers do? You know, oh, he got the power. He oh, his powers are gay. He got the power to create like little force fields. Gay and shit. It, and, it, and it's gay as hell. So that that's why they call it safe space because he can put force fields around himself. Yeah. Man, I think the dude who made them. Yeah. I think the dude who made them is literally making fun of gay people. And trans people and all that. He's got to be. You give a dude named Safe Space force fields. That is he, just straight making fun of their whole community. He's, he's a male invisible woman, in other words. Mm. Well, invisible woman had more a higher scope of things. For a lot more powers field. than this dude. Yeah, like, yeah. A lot more she than could this project dude. her force fields into like 
concussive blasts and all this right. other this, yeah. this dude, she can also dude put them around your head and fucking cut off your oxygen <laughs> exactly dude, but this dude can't do that he'll make a little four field to protect you but that's it this nigga gay that's all there is to it yeah. they should have <laughs> just called that nigga gay space Space. Bubble below him, baby. <laughs> yeah, they, I don't think that I don't think that little project will ever come to fruition. They got so much. I thought it was a I thought it was a joke when I first read. See what you're talking about? It's already in the comics. It's already out it's there, dude. Account, it is. Yeah, yes. that shit is real. Yeah, that what shit is, is out there. The overweight black chick. I never. You guys never said what the name of that one is because I stopped. I, I, I stopped looking as soon as you guys. I forgot her name, but she as looks soon, As soon as they, they announced that, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna... This guy is auctioning off his comics collection. He has books all the way back from, from 1934. He's got 40,000 comic books he's auctioning off. And nice. some, some of them are from 1934 and uh like really super, like some of the like first edition Spider-Man and first edition Superman. Shit like that, like really, really oh. super old shit, shit from a uh, Jack Kirby and all that stuff, man. I've got you. semi old stuff. I've got like the first in the first. This uh, guy has a fucking number one edition of Action Comics. That book by itself is worth three million dollars if damn. it's in good condition. Yeah. Action Comics, that's like the first comic book ever made, dude. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he's the number what one. It's the number one edition of it. That's that's easily what issue a three. What did made. Batman come come out in? Because Batman' first appearance was, was an action. Comic, I think you. It? I think his first appearance was in Detective Comics. And was uh, it the first? The first Detective Comics was. Uh, it was. I think it was back in the early forties and fifties. I'm not sure. Let me check real quick. So was it Superman that was number one? I think Superman was one of the first character. One of the first superheroes. But yeah, I've got the first appearance of Gambit. I've got the first appearance of Rogue. I've got all all of Rogue's miniseries, all of Gambit's miniseries. I've got um, the Phalanx Covenant. I've got a I got bunch the, of the different stuff. Uh, the only the only things that I got left, I got the oversized editions of Superman versus Spider Man, Batman versus Hulk. Um, the first web of Spider-Man and the first issue of All-Star Squadron. That's all I got. Though. Um, I've also got the entire collection of Avengers versus X-Men. All of it. Every, everything that was, you know, like the whole, the whole shebang. The Walmart's talking about anybody who works for them with a temperature higher than, um, than, than the normal they sending them home so it ain't even got to be a hundred anymore if it's 99 that's enough for them to send you home even though an actual fever is literally a hundred plus so why even open then because i know people who have temperature that high and they're not sick hell my temperature gets up that high sometimes when i and i'm not even sick so that's just kind of fucking stupid so does that mean they're fired or no it means they the can't day? it means they can't work they're off for the day it oh, says okay. IRS to begin issuing twelve hundred dollar coronavirus payments April the ninth. So that's when they're gonna start sending out checks on April the ninth. Says some people won't receive checks until late September. Um, <laughs> I read that. I read that. Really? I read that. I was thinking I was gonna get mine in like three weeks. Niggas gonna be sitting around in September waiting for twelve hundred dollars, dude. Yeah. I can make twelve. I, I can make twelve hundred dollars in a day. Fuck, I'm gonna wait until I September to get too. it. So that's for people who are, who are dumb enough not to have direct deposit. Yeah, like the ones who got direct deposit, they're going to be getting theirs in April. Everybody else who don't have direct deposit, they're going to be sitting mm -hmm. around waiting. They're going to be waiting by their mailbox to accept fucking timber. Fuck all that shit, man. Most definitely. Nigga, sit there, imagine that. Imagine your life. You get up, go to mailbox every day till September waiting on a check. Y'all skipping to the mailbox all happy. Like, it, today is the day. Today is the day. You look in, man, and then you're just all shuffling. When that check finally show up, depressed. it's going to be like that Bone Thug song. It's the first of the month. Let's grab them checks and come on. Hey. And, and then they get the tax refunds yet? Your, tech, your refund from your taxes yet? Wait a minute, what? Yeah. 
Have you again? got your tax Dude, bill? Like, shit, because I, bet. I filed mine like three or four weeks ago, and I hadn't got. Dude, I been got man, my shit. Me and my woman, we we been got our paper a long time ago. Been got mine. Yeah, yeah well, I, I, I filed like, my I'm shit. Tax. I filed my shit the first week of March, and I got it in 21 days. Right after I filed it. Okay, yeah. Well, I filed mine on like March 15th, and and it's still it's. It says projected April the seventh, so I should be getting you know. And then I figure, what well, if it's that wires directly, and if that goes, that you know, every year they put it right in my bank account, so I figure, you know, whenever that three or four weeks or whatever, then I'll get that twelve hundred too. Yeah, as thinking. long as you got direct deposit and you file taxes, you should get a you should get a uh, stimulus check. I mean, see, yeah. this ain't the first time our government's done this. They've sent out stimulus yeah. checks before. This, I mean, because shit keeps happening. So, hey, man, it, it's. And then, I mean, the NBA, I think that um, they're going to do it again. I think that they're going to have to get Congress together, and next month they're going to have to send out another twelve hundred. Well, what is, the Democrats are trying to do? The Democrats are trying to get it to where everybody gets a everybody gets a damn check every month until this shit ends. They're trying to send people like every month it's a check in your damn bank account. And I'm going to tell you what they could do. This is how you can fix this right here and right now, okay? The bill that they signed was like $2 trillion, okay? $2.6 trillion. Yeah. There's, 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 only a hun there's only 350 million people in America, okay? This is what you do. Mm -hmm. You give everybody a million bucks. Every <laughs> that's what you do. You give everybody a million dollars, and then you say, look, that's it. Nobody gets anything else from the government ever. Because if you're too stupid to where you can't take a million dollars and live off of it, you're a dumb bastard. Think about it. Look at look at how, <laughs> look at what you're living on right now. You tell me you can't fucking survive or the rest of your life on a million living the way you living now. Yeah. As long as yeah. you know what would happen. As long After as you stay years. within as long as you stay within your means and don't go crazy buying dumb shit, a million dollars is enough to fucking take anybody to the end of their life as long as they manage it properly. Yeah. Yep. And a lot of people, a lot of people realize that if that happened, that within two or three years, all the rich people would get all the money again, and all the other poor, they would be poor again. I mean, but think yeah. think about it. My plan makes more sense. Instead of two point six trillion that you signed a bill for, you just signed a bill for five hundred million dollars, just to make sure you got enough. Send everybody a million. Be done with it. You be done with it and take oh, whatever is left over and extra and just hang on to it in case you miss somebody. That's it. And if everybody and I'm talking about every adult, if every adult gets a million in their bank account to do whatever they want to do with it, that would be perfect. It'd be better than spending all this other money they spending fucking two point six trillion. And are you big, still, big are ass you companies messing around with the stocks or big are you ass companies with the stocks? do? Yeah, my stocks, I'm leaving them alone. You listen. You yeah. don't play with stocks. You buy them and leave them alone. That's yep. what you do with yeah. them. If you play with them, is when well, you start you losing money. Had good advice a few weeks ago when I was thinking about putting some money in some stock, and I'm glad I listened to you because shit. If I'd have put that money in Apple or whatever, it would it, it kept going. It kept plummeting it on down. You know. But yeah, you probably would have lost uh, a bunch. It like. Hey, but, mean, but stacks. Also, keep, I want you to keep in mind too. The stuff that they said of people who wasn't gonna get it, keep that in play too. Oh, a lot of people ain't getting it. Like, like I, like that video that I made when I uh, announced what Congress wrote in that bill. See, we think Congress is stupid, but they're not. They wrote that bill up perfectly. They wrote it up in a way to where freeloaders ain't gonna get nothing. Uh -huh. that, yeah, they wrote it up the right way. They exactly. said, they said, look, you broke ass bums living off your moms and your dads and shit. Y'all ain't getting shit. And that's the way it should have been wrote up. They wrote it up exactly how it was meant to be. Because I don't think that broke-ass people who ain't helping should get anything. If you're not putting anything in the economy, you shouldn't get anything out of it. That's the way I believe. Well, I, agree. I totally agree with you. And, and every time every time I see this this badass jet or, or a stealth fighter or whatever, I, I take pride in that. Because I'm not thinking, I pay, I, I, that jet is a little bitty part mine, you know, when they, when they, when they, 
you know, when they spend your taxes and they, they build machines and stuff like that. I mean, we all pay. That's really our money we're getting back. That the money they're sending to us is our money. We put in that money. You know? Well, yeah, the, so, these these stimulus checks are taxpayer money. Like we pay taxes for this. It's not like it's not like these senators are reaching in their own pockets and giving that to us. We're just getting back what yeah. we paid into the system. And the people that don't put shit in don't need to be getting don't need to be getting the don't need to be getting the I shit, believe you know? that if you don't vote and you don't contribute to the system, then you should shut up and be happy that you live in America. You should just shut the fuck up, be happy you're getting something. Because you ain't contributing, you ain't voting, and you ain't paying taxes. And I believe you have to yeah. be doing one of those two things to have any say so in this country. And if you're not doing either one of those things, then you're just a freeloading piece of trash. Mm -hmm. That's the way I believe. I don't think you you don't deserve shit. If you ain't voting or paying taxes, you don't deserve nothing, really. Because to me, in order to be to even claim to be an American citizen, you got to be doing one of those two things. You got a yeah. lot of motherfuckers who never voted and never worked in their life trying to tell everybody else what the fuck to do. Like, that's one thing I hate about this website. It's so filled up with broke ass motherfuckers who don't even know how to vote. They've never went into a voting booth before. And the broke ass motherfuckers that never had a job before. But they the ones on here making videos trying to tell people how to live. Fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. I, I, they're not American as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I believe real Americans are put into this system and help build it up into what it is. And if you ain't putting into it, if you ain't helping this system, you ain't helping build up your country, then you need to leave. This is like when, John, when Donald Trump said, if you don't like America, you should get out. I agree with him. It's a lot of people here. Yeah. It's a lot of people here who complain about America, complain about this country, but they don't they don't understand. In Germany, France, China, Russia, all these other places, you wouldn't have it as good. America's the only place where you can start off as a broke piece of shit and you can literally become a millionaire overnight. This is the only country that has made that possible. You, I mean, right. the, the the freedom that we have in this country to do shit cannot be overlooked. People need to respect the fuck out of that. And it, 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 well, bur you, it burns I me up. With that. It burns me up when you got a bunch of motherfuckers want to destroy this system and try to bring in socialism because they can't get the system to work for them. So they want to take it away from everybody who have figured out how to make it work. Like, there's some people who have literally figured this system out. People like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. They have figured out how to work the system. People like Bernie Sanders and these other motherfuckers want to take that away from them. Fuck that socialism okay. shit. Well, you got a lot of governors that are using yeah. this crisis as an opportunity to push their own socialist bullshit agendas. Look, guys, what were we what were we taught? All these guys on this line right now, each one of us are old enough to understand what I'm about to say. What did our teachers and shit tell us back in the, the fucking 80s and 90s when we were going to school? The American dream. If you work hard and 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 put in your part and do what you're supposed to do, that America would pay you back. That's what we were taught. We were raised up believing that shit. That's what the American dream is. You lift yourself up by your bootstraps. You work hard, and when it's when it's time to retire, your country will pay you back. I still believe that, but you got a lot of people nowadays. These young people, they all want to be YouTube famous. They want to. They want quick, easy success. They want to be the next dot-com motherfucker. The next big boom on the internet. They don't care about working hard. Do you realize most of these dudes on YouTube have never actually had a manual labor job? Do you realize most of them, when they see somebody doing manual labor, they laugh at that person? Ha ha ha, you gotta go punch a clock. Like, these motherfuckers on yeah. here have never actually done manual labor. That's why they such weak-ass bitches. Cause they've never some yeah. of them can't even make their own bed that's why they live with their mama so their mama can come in and make their bed like for real you got dudes that don't know how to cook for themselves they don't know how to clean they don't know how to do shit like i, I don't want to be i would not want to be that person they like you can't do anything without mommy doing it for you that's gotta suck man that been a horrible fucking yeah. way to live no i so, like my independence i like being honestly working his life you know uh, yeah, I, I like my independence. I like being able to cook for myself. I like being able to cook for my son. You know, it's only time my mama cook for me is when it's a specialty item that she makes better than anybody, like cube steak 
or when she makes me a birthday cake because nobody's cakes are better than my mom's but other than that i do everything for myself and for my family i don't want my mama taking care of me what kind of grown-ass man can roll out of bed every day and be happy with the fact that they mom is fucking doing a laundry and fixing their meals and do i mean fuck that shit man i i don't know and i i, I think i think it's hilarious that you have such a force on this website that are so against doing for yourself. Like there are people on here I who are honestly it, against people it. everywhere. I think that's people everywhere too. Well, it's a it's a generational thing. Like we we yeah. were raised up working. This new generation has been work, raised up on the internet, and they truly believe that actual physical manual labor is of of the past. They believe it's something that yeah. people did in the past. They don't believe it's something that they should have to do now. They all believe yeah, in this digital age. They really do. It's reinforced. Yeah, it's reinforced by people. It's reinforced. They're telling people you can't succeed. The, the, the deck is stacked against you. Well, when you when you when you go outside, when you go outside, man, and you see eight and nine year olds with tablets and cell phones. See, when mm -hmm. we were eight, nine years old, we never conceived of having shit like that. We never dreamed that we would be walking around with tablets and phones. Okay? Oh, yeah. I'm, but I'm, these fucking I'm... kids now, they're born with that shit in their hand. It's normal for them. Mm -hmm. Have, have y'all been noticing that uh, that your internet is will kick, will kick you off a lot? Uh, I noticed that, that YouTube that... will. YouTube. Yeah, like my YouTube actually, that. my YouTube actually logged out one day while I was watching the video. Like I, I uh -huh. when the video ended, it said you need to sign back into YouTube. Like the whole thing yeah. had logged. It, it's done that to me during the stream. Like um, mm -hmm. my fucking YouTube logged me out while I was live streaming. I don't even know how that's possible, mm -hmm. but it's done it. So, dude, this technology is crazy, man. Well, I was trying to pay my uh, first of the month bill. I got I got to pay my Walmart card and my credit uh, for the first of the month. A couple of days, I guess it was Tuesday or Wednesday, and and I was trying to get on, you know, like I normally do, and pay my bills, you know, for the first of the month. And it kept spinning and spinning, and and it kept kicking me off of the internet. And I'm wondering if if so many people are at home and they're watching yep. all this stuff on the internet, that the well, internet might be bursting at the seams with all the extra traffic. What are th their throttling speeds? everybody's doing it because the internet is overloaded right now with people stuck at home yeah they they, they were talking yeah. about this the other day like they're they're purposefully yeah. slowing down stuff to because so many people are using it like some of y'all probably haven't even noticed it but you know on youtube whenever you're looking at something in in say 720p there's usually a uh -huh. little red thing next to it that says hd well, now mm -hmm. when you look at YouTube in 720, that thing done disappeared. It only shows up when you're looking at it in 1080 or more because they done throttled it down. A lot of people didn't even pay attention to that small little change, but I did. I noticed yeah. it almost immediately. That's how you know YouTube is, they've, they've throttled everything down because like right now, um, they usually have a billion people visit YouTube every day. It's up around 2 billion now. Because that's how many yeah. people are stuck at home. They are, old, they, and then you got to also keep in mind, YouTube is downsizing their office. Like the the site's being run by bots right now because they yeah, have people exactly. at they have people at their office actually test positive for coronavirus. So they Ooh, shut down right. they shut down their local their YouTube office. So right now, not surprising. Yeah. So we're lucky to even be on. Like I said, they got like a skeleton crew working plus bots. If anybody else in there gets sick, they might shut YouTube down. Yeah. Because well, the other thing that YouTube came out and said that now you can talk about COVID-19 on but, your video, but you need to base it on what the World Health Organization and the CDC is saying. Well, they do that automatically, though. If you make a video about coronavirus, it automatically puts it on your video. Like if you look at the video I did earlier where I was at the grocery store. They added that uh -huh. CDC thing to my video. It pops on there automatically. Yeah, they do it with every video that talks about Any it. Any video that mentions coronavirus, they automatically put that thing on there. Mm. Yeah, so you can't you can't escape it, no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what they were doing is they were actually removing all 
coronavirus videos. Now what they're doing is they're letting you keep them up, but they're demonetizing them. Yeah, but they exempt certain people like Tim Pool. He can talk about it as much as he wants. You well, know? they <laughs> exempt they exempt the channels that make them a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. And and they say that other videos that aren't they're demonetizing those videos. They say that if oh, I I pay the ten dollars a month, so I don't have to put up with ads and all that crap or whatever. But uh, they say that if you watch a video now, that that it will be interrupted with like eighteen ads. You know. That's, that's what I heard. Well, I've, I've had today. I've had YouTube Premium back when it was called YouTube yeah. Red. I never liked ads, so when they introduced the option to not have to watch ads, I bought that shit instantly, and I've had it ever yeah, since. Yeah, it costs me. It costs like ten dollars and sixty six cents a month for me, but it's worth it. You know what? Yeah. If they made that mandatory, they wouldn't need advertisements anymore. They could get rid yeah. of ads. But that's what I've been saying. Like that's part of why YouTube is screwed up. Because they do everything based on advertisers. But if they would just charge money for the website, they wouldn't have to rely on advertising anymore. They could just make, they could run the website off the revenue. I mean, honestly, you got a, you got 2 billion people using this website right now. Multiply that times $10 a month. Tell it me. It could be just like Hulu or Disney Plus. Exactly. You, tell, you telling me yeah. you can't run YouTube off of that? Yeah. Ten dollars, well, ten dollars a ten dollars a month times two billion people. You telling me that ain't enough yeah. money to run this website? Are you crazy? Shit. They could get rid of a lot of these uh, loser trolls uh, too. You know that way. If you can't afford ten dollars a month to be on YouTube or whatever, then I mean they would get rid of a lot of these deadbeat trolls that are just causing and, and loading up the network and, and causing all kind of problems. Well, just, I'm just gonna tell you straight up, dude. I, listen. We're not talking about them, right? Um. Well. Yeah. I was going to explain that myself, to be honest with you. This is what I... Go ahead. This, this is how I feel about it. I truly mm -hmm. don't care about anything related to trolls anymore. And 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 I think they even understand that at this point. When I changed my platform and I changed all my names and my content and everything, I think everybody finally realized that I'm done. I, I'm, I, I mean, honestly. And I was going to tell everybody also... I mean, I know some people are still calling me NBA or whatever, and I don't really care. But that's really not what I'm doing anymore. That All that stuff is dead to me. I don't get upset about it and don't really care. But uh, William is the only one I think that's been calling me Stacks because that's what most people have been calling me lately. I, I changed everything because I don't care anymore. And part of the, the reason why it didn't seem like it is because even though I kept saying I didn't care, I was still sticking to the same shit. I was still doing the same shit. When I made all those changes the other day, you guys noticed I wasn't playing around anymore. That's when people realized I wasn't kidding about moving the fuck on and not giving a shit anymore. And I'm sure some of y'all noticed or some of y'all didn't. There wasn't a single troll on my stream earlier. You want to know why? I don't know. Because I don't know. they realized that we're done. That we're done with that shit. We don't care anymore. And I haven't seen any on this stream yet because we don't care no more. It's a whole new ball game around here. That's why we haven't even been bringing them up because fuck them. We're done. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. The whole reason we're doing this damn podcast so everybody can get their opinion out there. But all that other stuff, we're not engaging that stuff anymore. Yeah, we're just mm. here to have fun tonight. Yeah, we're not engaging anybody yep. on any level. Anybody who even attempts to cause trouble, they gone. I don't care if they just joking. They gone. We're done yep. with that. That's the new rules, and in the Discord too. I just I, we've already informed everybody. Enough is enough. We're the grown ups, and we're gonna act like the grown ups, and we're gonna let all the children go out in the yard and play. And that's the way I feel about it. That's why I made like somebody asked me the other day, you know, why did I change my main channel and all this and this? And I said the the reason is because I don't spent so much time changing all my other channels. And I never really realized that the main channel was what needed to be changed. Because people don't care about my extra channels. Let's be real. Nobody gives a fuck about all these extra channels. They're just channels. My main channel is where the focus is. And when I changed yeah. that name of that channel and removed all of that old mad black shit off of there and all that, you can see an instant shift, an instant change. I saw it in that earlier stream today. Look how many people showed up to watch. 
There was no trouble, no trouble, no bullshit, no nothing. It's a completely clean slate, and it's gonna stay that way. I, I made a promise to, and I did it, and I'm gonna stick to it. Yeah. And anybody, about, and anybody who yeah. tries to violate that is no longer a part of us. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, we're done with that shit. We yeah, don't even is. mention them no more. Fuck it. Yeah. So. And I got two or three of them wanting to talk to me, like behind the scenes, trying to talk to me. Now, two of them I've already spoken to, and we've already squashed old shit. But there's a few more of them that want to DM me or text message or call me. And like I said, they're more than welcome to. I'll be glad to settle a bunch of old dumb shit behind the scenes because I'm not doing it live anymore. I'm not I'm not firing up a live stream and arguing with six or seven niggas no more. If you want to call or text or DM me and squash it like a man, we'll do it. But I'm not doing none of that live on the air roasting shit no more. Fuck all that dumb shit. Them days are over. Like I told y'all, this league is different. We're, we're, it's a whole different league. We're not the same guys we used to be. Even though some of the same guys um, are from the original iteration, everybody done changed around here. We all different. We don't we don't care about fuckery no more, you know. And I, I'm glad of that. I'm so glad of that because it's hard to yeah. get it's hard to get a group of people to all go in one direction. Like we had some stragglers and some people doing their own thing, and those people are gone now. Like we've we've gotten rid of them or they left on their own. And it only makes us stronger when people like that leave. It only makes us better when people like that leave. Because if you just want to join us to keep shit going, then you ain't going to have to worry about our enemies taking you out because we're going to take you out. <laughs> oh, yeah. You ain't got to wait on them. We're going to get you. Because I made yeah. it clear. You're not a part of me. Yeah. If you were on this internet trying to keep beef going, you're not a part of what we're doing. You are not a part of it and don't claim it. Because I know people run around claiming, oh, I'm League for Life, trying to get shit going. Nah, you're not one of us. Because if you League for Life, you're here watching us. You ain't on the internet fucking with people. Well, NBA, we got almost 80 people in here. You want to do an open question? Dude, I don't care. They can. I thought you was already doing that. Where the hell you been? Well, I was doing, top, I was doing topic related oh. questions. So Dude, they can ask whatever they want. I don't, I don't give a damn. I never care. And like I said, they know my criteria. As long as it ain't dumb shit, I don't care. All right. Yeah. Any I'm, question goes, guys. I'm not answering no dumb shit. I'm not answering no shit about 2018 and 2019, all that fuckery. I'm not answering none of that. Matter of fact, if you ask that, I'm going to ban you. So that'll pretty much put an end to that. I guess you'll have to tell me to ban them, huh? Since you're no, really playing your game. I actually cut my game off 30 minutes ago. Oh, okay. You never know what I'm up to. <laughs> I don't always no, say. I don't always no tell anime you. No, anime is okay to talk about, so don't talk about it again, please. Yeah. Well, I didn't say it wasn't okay to talk about. I just said I don't give a fuck about it. If he wants oh, to ask, if he okay. wants to ask a dumb anime question, I'm gonna give him the same traditional anime answer. Go fuck yourself, because I don't watch anime. I could care less about anime. Well, okay. I, have one, I have one kind of question just that was a little bit anime related, but uh, you kind of got me started watching Bleach. Now, I really like it. But uh, so a lot of, I'm like on, I think it's a 169, and uh, it's got into some filler, you know? But like, it was, it's really, I'm really enjoying it a lot. But like it's just a filler, and somebody said that I need to skip through the filler, but I don't want to really do that. Bleach has a bleach. Arcs, the only filler arc that's actually worth watching is the Zong Pak To arc. Uh, the 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 Bount arc is horrible. I don't know why anybody could watch. That I one. hated the Bount arc. I hated that I, one. But the Zong Pak To the, the Zong Pak To yeah. filler is good. I mean, it's actually pretty good. I don't Which have a problem one, with the, that. The Revolution or the second half? The, of the Zong Pak To arc, the whole thing is good. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, when uh, whenever they had to fight the the copies of themselves, that one was a pretty good one too. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it yeah, just it, it's it's kind of like Nar, it's kind of like Naruto when it comes like anime back in those times had a lot of filler. 
it wasn't just Bleach. It was Naruto, Naruto shipping it, and a bunch of other cartoons back then. They all had a shit ton of fucking filler. That's just because you got to keep in mind, those were long running series. And you have to have filler when you have a long running series. Yeah. Yeah. Bleach is 15 seasons. So you got to have filler in there for 15 seasons. It's just the way it yeah. is. Well, I think they were like trying to let the the uh, they were trying to let the manga catch up with the anime, I guess, and so they had to kind of make something, you know, to to go through it. Like, but it was, I mean, it was like awesome. They're starting to fight the wrong cars and everything, and now it just got to a point to where it's like a where it just like slowed down. Like, well, time. that that's bleach in a nutshell, dude. That's just how it is. Yeah. But, all right. but I've downloaded all the way to episode 300. I've downloaded all the way to episode 300. But I'm just wondering if I should skip because I have cheated and looked ahead where you know Kim Pachi and all and uh, and and everything and with ice and everything and I, I like I like sneak peeked ahead and I wanna but I'm like at 169 that I need to keep on watching this filler is what I was gonna ask. Dude, so uh, no, you, listen there. There's, the fillers aren't necessary. No, they're not necessary to the main story. The fillers is just something. They're they're fillers. That's why it's called filler, because it's just something to uh-huh. consume some time. Yeah, that's all it is. Uh, Watch it if you want to. Don't you don't need me or anybody else to tell you. Watch it if you want to. If yeah. it's boring, skip it. If it's not, then watch it. Simple as that. Yep. yep. But I'm thankful. I'm in the Discord and y'all were talking about bleach, and I'm I'm glad that I got on bleach because. Because really, like there, there, there hadn't been any anime, you know, recently besides, uh, you know, the one, um, you know, the one, the one uh, that that was the, the anime I really enjoyed was uh, the what about the Vikings? That, that was saga. Awesome. Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga. Dude. Yeah, yo, Vinland Saga was just amazing, and then yeah, so I, I've watched Bleach all the way to one sixty nine, but like now and I've downloaded like three hundred episodes, and I'm really enjoying doing that because you know, it's just this is this is the way our our lives have changed so much in the last. It's 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 like you gotta you gotta you gotta be able to be interested and watch something and not just keep yourself sane, you know. Yeah, well, I'm gonna tell you right now. I got so many other things that I can do, but other than watch anime, I don't even care. Like it, 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 it will take several more months of this to make me watch anime. I'm right now. I'm not even close because I just don't care about it. Like I honestly yeah. just don't reach the point where I don't care about it. Like I haven't watched in so long that it just it don't hurt me at all to miss anything. Like, I don't know what's going on on any of those shitty shows and don't care. It's bad. They're saying now that this it's, is probably pushed back the release of the new consoles, like the PS5 and the. Uh, well, the it, don't, it don't. It okay. don't. It don't matter. We got a question then. It's bad when you have to go back and watch all the That's old sad, stuff. Man. Fuck so all that shit. Get, I'll never do it. I mean, you know, you, you, I said I have. If I want to watch and enjoy anime, I can't watch anything really new. You have to go back to Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, Outlaw, Outlaw Star, Yu Yu Hakusho. But you, you, you can't, you can't talk about those. You can't talk about those because this new anime crowd, these fake fans of today, it hurts their feelings when you bring up actual good anime. It does you know, all it those does. that you mentioned are a billion times better than this shit they watch right now? That's the only way. NBA, do you think that when they redo the new Bleach episodes, do you think that they're gonna make them good, like with the blood and the everything no. like that, or do you think no. that they'll screw it up? They're gonna screw it up, just like they did Dragon Ball. I already said. If that. it's funny, yeah. if it's funny, hey, if it's gonna be on fun and hey guys, it's gonna be censored. Hang on a minute, because I think Saint Cloud's trying to read a question or something. Yeah, um, we got a person asking uh do you think bleach when it comes back can destroy these other anime shows if they don't fuck it up it can but if they make it like all this other trash then it's gonna be trash they're good listen you there there is there's a way to fuck up good shit okay Mm -hmm. they they proved it when they gave goku and vegeta blue hair they proved that they could fuck up good shit trust me it can be done they can ruin yep. Ichigo and Kenpachi mm-hmm. if they try hard enough. And so yeah. let's just hope that they don't. But it is possible to do it. 
Yeah, and we waited so many years for them to come back and bring Dragon Ball back, and then they brought it back and just like cluster fucked it. Well, <laughs> they did it. They did it to please today's fans. They did it to please these these fake fans of today. They don't. They don't. If they actually listened to real fans, if they actually listened to the hardcore people who grew up watching this shit, then it would be better shows. But they don't listen to us anymore. They don't listen to the people who've been watching it for 10, 15 years. They listen to this new crowd who wants magical fairy girls with, with mini skirts on and big titties and all that. That's all they care about now. These dudes want fucking waifus and shit. You know? It's stupid. He said magical fairy girls. Look, have you noticed that every fucking... Have you noticed that every anime now that these motherfuckers like? Every fucking one of them is some chick on there with a... With a with knee high stockings, a mini skirt, some magical oh. fucking powers, and big tits. Like, that's you it. Right. Every fucking right. show. And you it's right. it, like, you look right. at Black Clover. That's the one of their favorites. And you want to know why they like it? Look how many chicks on that show got big tits and fit the description I just gave you. Come on, man. That's all they care about. Shows like, I shows like, watch. shows so like, much, I don't know. like Scride and, and Trigun and stuff. They didn't, they didn't focus on women on them shows. Like Trigun, that whole show was focused on Vast and Stampede. It wasn't focused on some chick's boobs. They didn't care about that shit back in them days of anime. You know? And but now that's all they give a fuck about. If the chick if it if there's if there's not a waifu character in it, they don't care about it. I think the only thing they really focused on women wise was where the hell Meryl put pulled out her minigun. Look, hey. when, back in them days of anime, women were damsels in distress. Like Inuyasha, he spent pretty oh, much the whole you. show trying to fucking rescue Kagome from being a dumbass. Every I mean, episode, Kiki. he was oh, rescuing yeah. that broad. No, Kikyo's the dead girl. I said Kagome. That's the one with yeah, the boat. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, I jackass. I know more about that show than you could dream of. Okay, I, I corrected myself mid -season. Yeah, you yeah. fucking... Well, you wouldn't have had to correct yourself if you didn't cut me off, you jack monkey. <laughs> I knew what I was saying. <laughs> Kagome is the one that travels with him that kept getting into trouble all the time. Kikio was the one that didn't need his help. Yes. Yes. I you, yeah, you, if you, you wouldn't have cut me off, you jackass, you would have got to hear the rest of it. I love then you watch the dough, man. Jeez, I'm sure I couldn't even finish. <laughs> cut me <laughs> off. And then your hey, ass got man. it wrong. Watch the dough. That was a good show. Shit, I do. I grew up watching this shit. I know what I'm okay. talking about. So did I. I grew up. No, you didn't. Shut up, you liar. Did. You ain't watching nothing. Shut up. I Quit lying. Fuck you know. <laughs> what do you mean? The fuck do I know? Apparently, I know more than you because you got Kikio and Kagome mixed up. So I know more than you. Man, I don't even watch Inuyasha. Nah, 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 nah. I don't, I'm not gonna watch. No, nah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A wait a minute. Telling him to wait a second. All the time. Wait a second. I I just now said I grew up watching this shit, and then you said so did I, and then you turned right back around and said you didn't watch it. So which one is it? No, I meant anime in mm -hmm. general. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, dude. You caught yourself. You busted. Busted. Y'all look, but she, but Kagome was a rinse and repeat of Sailor Mars. Pretty much. She looked just like them Sailor Moon yeah. bitches, yeah. Yeah. But hey, it's even worse nowadays. All anime is a copy of something. All anime today is a copy of something. Like, you just have to figure out what it is. And then once you figure it out and you start paying close attention, you'll see it. Like I said, with Black Clover, I figured that shit out instantly. <laughs> I mean, instantly I knew what they were copying off of. This shit is horrible. They didn't even try to cover up what they was copying from. They didn't even give it the old college try. They just said, fuck it. All right, Bleach had captains, so we're going to have Magic Knight captains. Get the fuck out of here. You didn't even try. You didn't even give it no effort. You know? Oh, my gosh. They got Captain Yamamoto. We're going to have the Wizard King. Get your fucking bitch asses out of here with that shit. They had a... Uh... Capped it like numbered, whatever. The bleach, like, bleach has the 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 thirteen court guard squads, and then they have the different uh, clover leaves. No, they just got the different gay ass versions of the court guard squads. 
That's all. It's just they fairy versions. Look, let, uh -huh. listen, guys. Let me tell y'all something. This is how you can sum up Black Clover. Black Clover is bleach with Harry Potter mixed in. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. That's well, it. Bleach, bleach Harry, but, Harry it. butthole pussy Potter. That's what it is. I said, man, I tried watching Black Clover. I couldn't get no. I couldn't get no further than episode five. I started to throw up. Well. I tell you what, Boruto's worse. You can't get past episode two. Trust I me. I don't even watch Boruto at all. I am not. Nobody there. watches Boruto. That's why they discontinued the manga. And they finna get ready to discontinue the anime. It's terrible. <laughs> they should call that shit Boring Toe instead of Boruto. So, Stax, let me ask you this. Boruto. What's up? So, Stax, let me ask you this. So, when Attack on Titan come back, you're going to pick that back up, right? Oh, I'm going to watch it, but I'm not going to review it. But I'm definitely going to watch Attack on Titan. That's my yeah. shit. Uh, and, yeah. if, and if Vinland Saga ever return, I'm going to watch that too. But I'm just not going to waste energy coming on here. Based, and they're not even reviews. They're recaps. Let's just call it. Let's call reviews what they are. It's recaps. It's a motherfucker telling you what they saw. And you saw the same exact shit. So you don't really need them to tell you. But they get views for telling you. Like, let's say me and you both watch Dragon Ball Super episode whatever and then i do a review and i say hey guys here's what i saw you're sitting there like wait a second i watched the shit too fuck is you telling me what i already seen that's what anime reviews are they're, they're recaps they're, they that's why that's another reason why i don't fuck with reviews anymore because they're not real reviews they're just not it's just you recapping something everybody else already looked at Instead of giving a play-by-play -play of what you think of each thing. Well, you can really, honestly, you can just watch the shit live and just do a live roast of it and say yourself the trouble. It's better than trying to recap it afterwards. It's dumb. It's just a waste of time. Look, I, I've seen what's going on in the, in the anime community. I've seen it, okay? Dragon Ball community is dying again, finally, because all the the, the life support they got from Broly and all this other shit done finally start wearing off. And the manga is not good enough to keep their channels alive. So they're, it's starting yeah. to die. Anime is starting to die because there are no good ones on right now. Yeah, they, they catching hell. And I'm glad. I hope the whole community fucking dies. Same shit. It's the same shit with every show. It's Rinse, the same shit with a different fucking thumbnail. I keep telling y'all that. Every fucking so-called review is the same review. Every it's single same. one. This was a good episode, guys. A great episode, everybody. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you what, that, that video you did the other the, about Super Saiyan Bob the other morning, that shit cracked me up when I woke up and watched that shit. When you did that Super Saiyan Bob. That's every anime oh, review right. on YouTube. That's the typical hey, review. Stacks. Every hey, single Stacks. one. <laughs> hey, Stacks, don't forget they said, don't forget, the audio quality was amazing. Oh, God, don't even get me started on that. See, I was, I was going to do a couple more, but be honest with you guys, I've been so busy that I just kind of didn't get a chance. And I've been trying to get y'all other content that's more relevant. Because true, I'll be true, truly honest with you guys. Uh, even though that's a parody and I'm making fun of anime, I don't even want to do that. I don't. I mean, <laughs> that's how much I don't care about anime. I don't even want to make fun of it anymore. Like I just reached that I've reached my wits end with it. I truly don't care yeah. about it at all. And I mean it, it's it's just such a terrible community. It's such a terrible genre. It, it's to me, if I had a choice but if I had a choice between that and go back to the black sector, I'm going back to the sector. Like that's how bad anime is in on YouTube. Yeah. I would rather go back it's to the black so sector. <laughs> Like Geekdom did a video the other day about the fake Namek saga. Dude, you know, it might not have been look, so bad. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell everybody this, and I'm glad that we're live. I'm gonna say this right here now. I don't have a problem whatsoever with Geekdom personally, at all. My problem with Geekdom is very simple. Geekdom is grinding on shit we all know. You do a a Super Saiyan explained, Super Saiyan two explained, Super Saiyan three explained. Yeah. Super Saiyan 4 explained. Listen, you want me to tell you how you can explain Super Saiyan? A nigga starts screaming until his hair changed colors. See, I just Yo. explained it. There you go. And and, and, and y'all know I got plenty. I got plenty of issues with you. 
I, w I would just like to point out that Stax, you just said you don't have a problem with geekdom, but then you just said my problem with geekdom is. No, I said I don't have a personal problem with geekdom. <laughs> See, you don't listen. I said I don't have a personal I'm problem. With Jesus nitpicker. Well, you know what? Guess what? I'm a nitpicker. Stop saying dumb shit, and I won't nitpick it. No, like, see, here, when I say, when I say dumb thing. shit, you're supposed to laugh at it. Well, sometimes some shit is so dumb you can't laugh at it. But the, th <laughs> the problem is people people want me to have a personal problem with geekdom. They want me to come on here and talk about personal his personal business. They want me to trash him the way other people did. Every well, time I've ever going. talked about geekdom, it's always been about the content. I've never went into his personal life or his personal business. And that's the one reason why people respect my critique of Greek of geekdom because I've never crossed over into disrespecting his real life. I've only Greek ever talked about his content because that's what you're supposed to do. If you criticize somebody on YouTube, you're supposed to be criticizing their videos, not the person because you don't know the person. I've never met geekdom in real life. I've never had dinner with him. I've never met his wife. I don't know shit about geekdom. So I don't have a right to criticize him, the man. But I do have a right to criticize the content creator. See what I'm saying? And my that's, issue with Geekdom, my issue with Geekdom is as a reviewer. That's my issue. With yeah, Geekdom. that's content. If you have a problem yeah, with him as a reviewer, that means you you have you have a problem with his content. There's nothing wrong with that. That's called that's called criticism. Last time I checked. Well, let me say this. That's why Mastar came on your uh, show a few weeks ago because you never had gone after him personally. You nope. may criticize some of the stuff that he done, but he he never had any harbored in any ill feelings against you and come on your show and everything because you've been fair and not gone after him personally like a lot of other people have. Well, that's because know? I don't need to make personal attacks to make my point. The only time I ever make yeah. personal attacks is when somebody did it to me. But whenever I, I go after somebody's content, I keep it on the content. Like I told yeah. you, it's content 5-0. It's not let me fuck with this nigga 5-0. It's not let me talk about your yeah. mama 5-0. It's fucking content 5-0. And I'm trying to bring back the ability to criticize someone's content without crossing over and making it personal. Because guess what? That's commentary channels used to do that all day, every day. For some reason, the shit became personal. And like, like the shit with iDubbbz. Okay, criticize iDubs for the shit iDubs does on YouTube. Criticize Content Cop. Criticize whatever. But they done crossed over into the dude's bedroom. Okay, they done crossed over into what him and his woman does in their private life. And that's where I draw the line at. It's fucking wrong. You don't have to go to that level to criticize people. It's really stupid. I don't know why people don't understand that. Like, look at me. All the shit that's been said about me, all the attacks on my family and friends and relatives, and all that's unnecessary. If you think I'm a lying piece of shit, grab, grab one of my videos and prove it. Do you have to dox everybody in order to prove it? Do you have to fuck with? No, you could just get one of my videos and break it down. Okay, my that's my point. Even when I don't like somebody, I still go after their content. Even when it's somebody I can't stand, I get their video and I break their shit down live on the air so people can see it. You don't have to attack people personally to make your point. Anybody who believes yeah. they have to attack you personally to make a point, it means they don't have a point. You know, yeah. I, and that's that's the whole thing between me and Geekdom. I've never, ever made it personal. I don't like the fact that Geekdom is grinding on some shit that we all know. If you don't understand the Super Saiyan transformation... After 30 years of Dragon Ball being on the air and being in magazines and being on DVDs, if you don't understand the, tra the transformation at this point, you are complete fucking retard. My woman can't stand anime, and she knows what the Super Saiyan transformation is, and she don't even watch anime. But I guarantee you, if she walk by and she see Goku's hair changing colors, she'll say he turned into Super Saiyan, because that's common knowledge at this point. Okay. Super Saiyan is literally common knowledge. Everyone knows it. So when you make a video explaining it, I think that's horse shit. I think it's just you grifting. I think you ripping folks at that point. You can't explain to me why in the hell you need to explain something. That's like me trying to explain to you what a hot dog is. A hot dog is common fucking knowledge, right? 
What if I came on here and said Pepsi Cola explained? You'd be like, wait the fuck a minute, dude. We all know what a fucking Pepsi is. Okay, that's my point. That's my biggest issue with what he does. Other than that, I ain't got no issue with the man at all. And I've never had a personal issue with him. Never will. Because un unless I've met you and dealt with you in the real world, it's never personal. That's just real. Yeah. That's real talk. <clears throat> Geek Geekdom, Geekdom's a good guy, but Geekdom like, wants everybody to love him. And he's got to realize that People are gonna hate you no matter what, dude. dude listen, yeah, he he that, gets really that, emotional that, and that you know, also he, was that's another reason why people have a problem with Geekdom, because folks are upset the, about the fact that Geekdom wants everybody to like him. That uh, that angers people. People do not like when guys want to be liked by everybody. I personally don't like when people want to be liked by everybody. I, I can't stand it. When I see a YouTuber or somebody on here doing everything they can in order to be liked by a bunch of people, it pisses me off. Why do you think I I, I respected iDub's response so much, guys? Because he kept, it real. he kept it real. He basically told his fans to go fuck themselves if they didn't like what he was doing. Yeah. He didn't kiss their ass. He didn't beg them for forgiveness. He didn't do none of that shit. He told them basically, I, I love my girlfriend. I support what she doing. If y'all don't like it, fuck you. That's what you're supposed to do on YouTube. I mean, I'm, I've told I've told Geek them a hundred times. You got six hundred thousand plus subscribers. You ain't got to kiss ass at this point. Your channel big enough to where you don't have to kiss ass. You can literally tell everybody to suck a dick, and you'll still get fifty, sixty thousand views a video, no matter what you do. I can personally say that. In that one stream that NBA did, um, I wrote in the stream itself that I unsubscribed from Geekdom. I didn't know Geekdom was going to be in the stream. No, that I care. But he was in the stream. He got mad at me within the tech, within the chat oh, of that. Yeah. He, got, he got in his feelings. On I that. remember I that. that. He actually cussed <laughs> William out in the chat. I remember because I was I was reading that shit. I was like, I was like. Because Geekdom said he didn't care if somebody unsubbed from him. And then in the same breath, he said he loved all his subscribers. And then when William wrote that he had unsubbed from Geekdom, Geekdom cussed him out and all this. And then I reminded Geekdom. I said, you just now told us in the chat that you love all your subscribers. His answer was, well, he unsubscribed, so I don't love him. And I was like, Wow. <laughs> I was like, all the dude did was say, and, and I read it. William did not cuss at him. He didn't talk about him. He didn't name call him. All he said was, I unsub. That's it. That's all he said. And he got cussed out like a motherfucker. I, I thought it was, I, I just, I thought it was a bad look. I thought, I mean, I didn't even take nobody's side either. And William can tell you, I didn't take his side and I didn't take Geekdom's side. I let them deal with it. I was doing my show. I stayed the fuck out of it. All I did was read what they were writing in the chat. And it was a bad look. You know, you can't say you love your subscribers and then cuss a dude out because he decided he don't want to follow you no more. Because guess what? If you love me, you love me. It don't matter if I'm sub to you or not. That's why I keep telling y'all, don't nobody love nobody on here. Because he loved William yeah. up until William unsubbed and then he hated him. That's yeah, what man. That Super Saiyan Bob. That's what that cracked me up during that Super Saiyan Bob when I woke up. I think you posted earlier. It was like six, seven o'clock, and I watched it. Just I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. That shit cracked me up. Yeah, I do it. As, I did it as a complete joke. I did it as a complete <laughs> joke because I know for a fucking fact, I know for a fact, nobody on this thing loves anybody. They love what you can offer their channel. If you're giving me 100,000 views a day, yeah, I'm going to tell you I love you too, even if I don't, because it's part of the game. YouTube, it's the, that's the game that's being played on here, guys. And you got to be smart enough to see it, and you got to be brave enough to call it out. I'm brave enough to tell everybody that that whole thing is bullshit, because it is. And Stax had to turn around and do a video defending that parody channel. Yeah, because everybody was getting so fucking mad and butthurt. Oh, my God. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, he talking about anime. And I'm thinking to myself, it's a fucking parody. Like, if you listen to the video... I tell everybody that it was a great episode, but I clearly state that also that I didn't watch any episodes. 
Now, how can I say how can I say it's a good episode if I didn't watch anything? Unless I'm fucking doing it, it as a joke. Better than a lot of their shit that they actually post. They, they, oh. that, that video was even better than a lot of the dumbass. The, re the reason why so many people got upset about it is because I hit the nail on the head. It's what anime yeah. reviewers do. Even if they don't watch yeah. an episode, they still tell you it's a good episode. And oh, yeah, and have you noticed me. that every time they watch an episode, let's say they watch 10 episodes. First episode was the greatest episode ever. Then they watch episode two. This was the greatest episode ever. And then they watch episode three. It becomes the greatest. Episode four becomes the greatest. Has anybody ever noticed that about these anime reviews? How whichever episode that you watch last is the greatest episode. Nobody yeah. ever pays attention to the fact that they do that. I was actually going to make my next video about that particular thing. They all do it. <laughs> Oh, guys, I just watched episode 137. Oh, my God, guys. Amazing. The best ever. Like, really, dude? You just said that about the one before that. What the fuck? But nobody ever calls their asses on that shit. Nobody. Because I know why. Like, let's be real, guys. Before me, how many dudes can you name that honestly criticized that shit the way I did it? That honestly uh, went after anime the way I did it? Nobody. Nobody was criticizing. Nobody, yeah. nobody was criticizing nobody any was anime. Me. Every anime was nope. being just kissed on the head. Oh, you're such a good anime. Mm, I love you. Nobody was criticizing that shit. So somebody had to. And because I'm not scared to do what needs to be done, I went ahead and done it. The truth of the yeah. matter is, it need it. Look, Mad Star was right. Every community needs a person that's willing to fucking stand up and criticize. Okay, everyone. The only reason I don't want to do anime anymore is just too taxing and time consuming. Really, I'm too busy for it. Honestly, I just don't want to. When I have to explain and then I have to explain the explanation and then I have to re-explain both of them because I'm dealing with a group of dumb children, I don't have the time for it, man. I'd rather stick cool. to adult topics where I don't have to keep explaining myself. It's a lot simpler. Coronavirus is simple. I don't have to explain it. You know, I really don't. But when you're dealing with anime, you got to do too much explaining, too much talking to dumbass kids. And I frankly don't like dealing with dumbass kids. So it's just a big turnoff for me. Like, it, it, listen, the fact that I had to literally explain what a parody video is, that alone <laughs> tells you what I was dealing with. Okay? When you have to literally make a video saying, hey, guys, it's just a joke. That's when it's too goddamn serious. Yeah, it's too serious at that point, and that's when that's why I haven't done another one yet because just that first one it showed me just how dumb the anime community is. I I mean I I got I got all those channels blocked, but I already know there's at least ten eleven videos because of that one video, and I don't even have to go look to know. I just know it. I could use the fucking force and know it. My point is, <laughs> it's a fucking parody. It's meant to be a joke. Is meant to make people laugh. That's all it was meant for. Period. No, it had no other purpose. There was no, no dastardly ulterior motive. It was just simply for laughs. This website is turning such in touch such a grim, terrible place that even laughing is against the rules now. Enjoying yourself is against the fucking rules now. That's how fucked up YouTube is now. You can't even laugh at nothing no more. It's Susan's fault. That's why I watch because there's so little to laugh about these days that I like to laugh, man. That's why I, I jumped on the screen to tell you thanks for giving me laughs because I need them lately. Well, I, I'll tell yeah. you like this: these the people who are dragging down the fun on YouTube are people like the bothering because what do they do all day long? They come on and whine and bitch all day, all day long. Every video is bitching about something, and you, it's just to fuck the website up, man. Like, that's not what a commentary channel is supposed to be. And I know he considers himself a commentary channel, but that's not commentary what he does. What he does is bitching and whining and complaining. There's a lot too much me. negativity. No, it, it's, it's, not even, it's not even that. It's not negativity. Because, see, I don't believe in that negative, positive shit. That's some gay shit to me. Because, like, let's be real. I'm the dark side of the force. So I don't give a shit about being positive. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is repetition. 
It's constant. It's daily. It's five times a day with the bothering. He literally uploads five videos a day, and it's all the same shit. Him bitching about something. I don't care if it's positive or negative. It's the repetition of it. It's just old. Like, it's, it, it reminds me of a job I used to have. I used to work at this place where it was an assembly line, where basically it's the same shit every day. The assembly line starts rolling, and you picking up parts and putting them back down. and da -da. You know what I'm talking about. That's yeah, the, I know that's, what you're talking about. That's the bothering's channel. That's his channel in a nutshell. Yeah. It's an assembly line of boring. That's for it. The life of, and for the life of me, I don't understand why he covers that woman. Um, I think he wants look, to fuck I, that chick. I, I, I think he does, too. Uh, for my podcast, I have to cover it. And you remember me. when he said he was going to stop? You remember when he said he was going to stop talking about that? When he made that yep. video about how to fix his channel? He said he would stop doing videos about Batwoman. He's done, I think, eight videos on that shit since he said that. I get it, man. The show is terrible, and I don't understand it. Because he ca he has to keep playing to that base. He's Didn't he also say he'd stay off Twitter? Too? Yes, he did. He did he say did he would say stop that. going on he Twitter, and he's been mm -hmm. all over Twitter. He's such a fucking liar. I proved that shit live on the fucking air that the dude's a liar. Like, it's no... Like he is that's why I stopped talking about it. That's why I quit doing videos on him. Cause the bothering is like one of the worst things about YouTube. He really is one of the worst thing. He is one of those things on YouTube that's fucking the website up. Him, Whoa. people like that no bullshit guy, that optimist dude, all those those S those anti SJW dudes. They all fucking whiny ass pussies. They act just Whoa. like the SJWs that they want to get rid of. To, to say the truth, the NBA, he's he's done that to himself. He's put himself in that box, and a lot of a lot of I guess a lot of entertainers or people that upload videos or on the channel, they they put themselves in the box where they've always got to be whining or complaining about something like SJWs or. Well, whatever. you remember what I told you guys. You can't get out of that. Remember yeah. what I told y'all. Like, like to me, like you can talk about you can talk about politics. You can talk. You can talk about uh, community. You can talk about a lot of different things, and you make it funny. You throw in jokes, like when you put on a Trump wig. That shit was hilarious. You got to keep yourself open. You got to you got to entertain people. You can't put yourself in a box. Well, remember what I told you guys about the fact. Remember when I told you guys he can't get views except for the fact that he has a big channel. Well, he actually proved yeah. me right because he started a brand new channel. And he's only averaging about 300 views a video. And that's because that new channel oh. doesn't have a subscriber base. He can mm -hmm. only get views because he has a lot of subs. If it wasn't for that, yep. nobody would watch him. Because he is one of the most boring ass dudes on this website. He is fucking <laughs> boring. <laughs> no, the I mean, dude, perfect, listen. The bothering is a perfect nickname, really. Listen, he literally sits there. <laughs> When he does a video, if you pay attention to him, he acts like he's doing a chore. He treats his videos like he's doing laundry or cleaning the gutters. He sits there like he's he's upset that he has to do a video. Hey, wait, hey, hey, guys, it's Jeremy here from The Bothering. Like, that's how he talks. Every video, he starts it off the same fucking way. It's Jeremy here from The Bothering, and I'm being bothered to do this video because I'm bothered. I mean, it, it, fuck that guy, man. And all those weird ass intro videos he does. Them things are so fucking lame. He think now you listen. That's how you know you're lame when you think that shit makes you look cool. Like that's when you can't even measure your level of lameness. He honestly believes them stupid intros are cool. That's why he keeps doing it. My issue with him is he's always downplaying his subscribers. All the time. Yeah. All the time. My issue with him is he's a fucking liar. Like when he went on fucking Twitter and lied about me live on the fucking air. Live on the air. And I showed that shit in real time that he lied on me. And my other problem with him is he's lying about his channel. He keeps lying about how YouTube's trying to destroy him and he's not making as much money as he used to. And Eight Thoughts even showed that motherfucker shit where that dude making upwards of 200 grand a month off his channel. But he claimed he ain't making... Man, that dude is a liar, man. That's all he is. He's just a fucking liar who's trying to fucking rip people off on the internet. That's all he is.
That's why when yeah, people you know, he could have smashed eight thoughts in in a minute, but he he gave eight thoughts all that attention. Then he challenged him to go on the kill stream, and the motherfucker didn't even show up. The eight thoughts showed up to kill stream, and Ralph uh, was talking to uh, Ethan. Ralph was talking, and he's like, "Well, now uh, now uh, the the with the bothering." When, the quarter, yeah, he said. He said that he's not gonna because his attorney advised him that he can't come on here. Nigga, ain't no damn you attorney know? advised nobody about a YouTube video. That's dumb. <laughs> look, look, look man, listen, listen. Okay, hold up, hold up a minute. Show. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I had, yeah. I had five, six, seven communities all at one time against me, and I still went on the fucking kill stream. Okay, and every single person watching was against me. And everybody on the line was against me. And I still went on the kill stream. So he's just a fucking faggot. And that's all it is to it. He's a fucking yeah, faggot. Yeah, and then you stayed on that extra hour when people were just writing shit. Yeah, and, and, when, people, and when, he started, when he started accepting phone calls and people were coming on just to call me names, I still stayed on the line. Matter of fact, I, <laughs> I fucking roasted them back when they tried to roast me. Because guess yeah. what? Look, it, listen, ain't no lawyer going to tell you, hey, if I was you, uh, I would avoid that for legal reasons. No, he challenged <laughs> he challenged Eight Thoughts to come on that shit, and then Eight Thoughts showed up, and he... Look, if you challenge a man to something, and then the person who, who <laughs> offers the challenge don't show up, you an instant bitch. If I tell you, all right, man, if I say, if I say look, meet me here at the OK Corral, and we're going to fight. And you show up and I don't, I'm a bitch automatically. Because I'm the one that made the challenge. If you make a challenge and don't show up, you an insta hoe. Simple as that. Exactly. I mean, he's not bringing any legal action against Eight Thoughts, is he? No, he can't. Eight Thoughts didn't do nothing. Well, that yeah, he, he has no reason to bring a lawyer into that. He said he, no, see, he no, did threaten. Time, he wait a minute. Wait a minute. He did threaten to sue Eight Thoughts because he said he was yeah. slandering him. Cause there's uh, a there's like he made a a long ass Twitter post about how he's gonna sue Eight Thoughts and he's gonna sue a couple other people. Um, so yeah, see that, that made him look like a bitch too, where he threatened to sue people. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a bitch ass move. That's why I call him the bothering because all he does is bother himself and he bothers other people. How can anybody li like listen when his video starts off? I literally log off. When he says, this, <laughs> when he say it's Jeremy here from the bothering, I'm done right there. <laughs> That's instant ambient. If look, guys, if you have trouble sleeping, watch the bothering. <laughs> Matter of fact, go to his new channel where he does live streams. You'll be sleeping five minutes, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be sleeping five That's minutes or your money back. <laughs> That nigga should yeah. put a guarantee on his channel. He should do this on his own channel. He should write in his description. If you ain't sleeping five minutes, I will give back your donation. <laughs> That's what he should do. Satisfaction guaranteed. Super yeah. chat. Guys, listen. Yeah, I had one of them nights. I had one of them nights where I couldn't sleep worth a fuck. I was in here on my Xbox like four in the morning, couldn't sleep. The fucking bothering popped up because I just left my damn computer on autoplay while I was over there at the TV and it was just going through playing videos. One of the bothering shit came on. I swear to y'all, I'm not bullshitting y'all. I was playing Oblivion. I fell asleep. I was my character was level 10. When I woke up, my character was on level 15. I ain't bullshitting y'all. I, I mean that nigga shit knocked. I was like, what the fuck? I had completed like 10 different quests and everything. Didn't even know I did it. Because that's how that shit knocked me the fuck out. <laughs> if I turn that shit on right now, all of us will fall asleep on the line. All you niggas watching be like, oh, this is all y'all are here. <laughs> y'all be like, man, this is the most boring live stream ever. <laughs> Fries. That, that's when I mute the sound because I ain't having a repeat of that shit. Can I, can I get fries with that? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all, man. Like, for real, that nigga shit boring. And that day when I was roasting him and he showed up in the stream, instead of going to Twitter and lying on me, he should have stayed and learned something. 
Simple as that. No, he no, can't. No. You, were giving, you were giving him good advice. You were telling him he need to cuss a little bit more, liven it up a little bit. Nah, you know? he can't. He can't cuss. He says no, no words. Mm -hmm. Grown ass man with a fucking grizzly bear beard on the internet talking about no, no words. My like sons don't even say that gay no. ass shit. He look like a drunk trucker. That's what he looks like. A drunk trucker. That nigga look like a broke trucker. <laughs> that nigga look like a that nigga look like a um um look like a, a broke ass Sam and Dean Winchester. That nigga look like a trucker who broke down on the side of the road two weeks ago. Yeah. Look, I I, I get why he gets views because he has a big channel. That's it. If I had that same amount of subs, I would get that kind of views. Period. If I had six hundred thousand, man, first of all. If I had 600,000 subs, my views would be in the fucking millions because people would be entertained. I would get a shit ton more views than what he gets. He has that big... That's one thing I hate about YouTube. All these people with these big-ass channels. These channels are going to waste. These motherfuckers with seven, 800,000 subs only pulling in 20,000 views. These channels are going to waste on lame-ass, no-talent, having motherfuckers like the bothering. If he swapped channels with me, if you gave me his channel, the first fucking video would be a million plus views. Because them people would be like, oh my god, there's something entertaining going on here. That nigga channel so boy, How can you have 700,000 subs and you averaging 30, 40,000 views? Where are all them other people at? I'll tell you where they at. They in cryogenic sleep. That nigga done <laughs> literally put their ass to sleep and... For real, like permanently sleep. They <laughs> like he put his fan base to sleep five years ago. Some of them just now waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> oh shit. What are you laughing about? <laughs> you know, this that nigga whole fan base literally in cryogenic sleep. Y'all remember? <laughs> Y'all remember that no, episode? Well, I let my ass off when he popped in that chat and said, "Please continue." Y'all remember that episode of of um? Y'all remember that episode of South Park? Um, when uh Cartman when Cartman uh wanted the Nintendo Wii really bad and he went to the future and went to, he the, froze uh, himself. Gophers. Yeah, see that that's his fan base. They all froze. No, he, it'll be more like Demolition Man. They get frozen and they come into the future and it's like San Angeles and shit. Damn, that, that's, a, that's a old movie, man. I remember that shit. It had Wesley Snipes in it, didn't it? It did. Uh, uh, Demolition yeah. Man? Yeah, that's yeah. old. That's yeah. And that's a young Sandra Bullock, too. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Back in her prime, I'm telling you. Back in her prime, Sandra Bullock. <laughs> well, hey, I'm fixing to hop off here, man. I, I, I'm fixing to make some noise. I'm, I'm going to finish cleaning up. I'm going to finish, finish cleaning up my house. I just want to thank, thank you, NBA, for putting out the good content. and uh, Thanks for letting me talk, y'all. Thanks for letting me be on. I'm going I'm to... I'm fixing to be making some background noise, cleaning up my house. So. All right, well, we'll catch up. We're going to get ready to get off here anyway. Hi, uh, right, bro. Later, man. Uh, I got it. Wash your hands. <laughs> well, I'm, we're about to get off here anyway because I got to get some fucking sleep. So, because I got some shit I got to yeah, yeah. do in the morning. It's almost one in the morning, shit. Yeah, it's 1230. Some, so, yeah, we're yeah, going to. I got to do yeah, something. We started at nine. Holy shit. Yeah, we've been going yeah. now. According I got to. Yeah, time sure flies when you're having fun. Well, it's been three. I, I enjoyed. I, I enjoyed the hell out of it, and uh, I'm gonna be. I've, I've been busy as shit the last five, six, seven days, but I'm gonna be in the Discord more. I really appreciate y'all letting me be on. Y'all have a good night, okay? All right, man. You, man. Later, man. All right. Good night. Yeah, according to the, the timer here, we're at three hours and forty-five minutes, so that's anyway. that's good enough time to stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, lead cast usually go longer than two hours anyway, so yeah. Yeah, but it is what it is. Like I said, we, we're rebuilding the platform from scratch, so and we're starting off proper, like. Because this has been two really good streams back-to-back, -back, so things are kind of trying to get back to normal. It is what it is, but, yeah, we're going to um, 
we're gonna get our asses up off of here and um i'll be probably throwing up some little quick videos tomorrow while i'm busy working i'll try to do them in between what i gotta do tomorrow so you guys got anything before we bounce um no i just hope everyone had fun I'm and sure. i can't wait to do it again uh, i always have fun with these things i just want to say fuck you niggas and i holler at y'all <laughs> yeah, I just want to say everybody go fuck themselves, fuck you guys, <laughs> and fuck you guys, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. Screw you guys and go <laughs> with him. You already are home, dipshit. You know what? You keep it up. You, you know what? You you gonna be the first one to test out that new we didn't listen rank. <laughs> and keep it up, you douchebag. <laughs> well, you gonna be the first one in there, boy. He ain't listen. <laughs> I would be Y'all be surprised. like, this nigga, this nigga fell from grace. What a demotion, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. That's your your demotion gonna be like like Lucifer getting getting kicked out of heaven. It's gonna be a long fall for you. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. What did I do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, on your hey, on your way down, you gonna be saying, "I'm not your buddy, guy." <laughs> I'm not your guy, friend. He's not your friend, pal. That's gonna be you all the way to the bottom. Screw you, guy. You gonna be singing that damn Drake song? Started from the bottom, now we here. That's gonna be you. <laughs> oh, Steph, real quick, man. Real, yeah. Real quick before we roll out. What's more powerful, the high ground or the force? Oh, uh, the high ground. Go. There you go. <laughs> uh, that's always gonna be more powerful shit yes sir well i tell you what i gotta do is watch star wars anakin had the force what happened to him oh shit. yeah <laughs> i hate you that's what happened to him <laughs> shit. i hate you yeah, they got sliced you. in half shit it didn't matter about the yeah. fucking high ground i mean it didn't matter about the force so that nigga said what do you say don't underestimate my power well don't underestimate the high ground shit <laughs> but shit, well, anyway, dudes, I'm gonna go on and end this thing, and uh, we'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. I'll throw up some videos or something tomorrow to get it going. All right, guys, I'm out. All right, All right. I, peace I, out, guys. We'll catch up with y'all later. later, man. All right, now. All right. All right, and exit out of the damn phone call thing first. All right, guys, I'm the last one standing, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this stream and. Thank you guys for coming out and this, that, and the other and spending all night with us. And uh, I'm going to try my best to keep the content rolling like I've been doing the last few days. I got some busy stuff coming up next few days, but I'm still going to throw up y'all some videos here or there. So it'll it'll be kind of normal. You know, it is what it is. Anyways, thanks for coming out. And uh, screw you guys. I'm going to bed. Catch up with y'all later. <laughs>